Bob Minery is absolutely delusional, mm -hmm. and I'm getting I'm getting nothing. I did, we did tremendous work for you. We but you're making a ton of money, you stopped showing up, and then you just blasted me on social media. Incorrect. There's not one thing that I gave you my word on that I did not promise. I introduced you guys. If you guys didn't get introduced, you guys wouldn't be now, making whoa, it doing any of these whoa, deals. I mean, when you work to build something for 10 years, we and like someone tries to burn that down, it's a different type try to of burn like, it down. feeling. Do you think we yes. needed you no, to no, but, introduce no, us? No, but listen. But you did, yes, and you never you. shut the up about it and it was so annoying I get it. that I gave you fifty thousand dollars and said correct shut the <laughs> up all right boys before we get into this absolutely insane podcast Super Bowl Sunday this Sunday you guys know the drill we are firing on prize picks if you guys have never tried prize picks this is the weekend to do it it's Super Bowl Sunday and there's a crazy crazy little thing going on there's basically a booster. So Mahomes is set at 0.5 right now. He's obviously gonna get more than 0.5. Take Mahomes, add him into your pick, and that's just gonna boost your entire card. Absolutely insane opportunity this weekend on Prize Picks for Super Bowl Sunday. So if you're a first time user, download the Prize Picks app. It is by far the best app to fire on sports. Instead of choosing teams, you're choosing individual players. Each player has a set projection, and you either choose more or less than that set projection. So, this Super Bowl Sunday, if you're feeling hot, you're feeling smart, you know what players are going to perform, download the Prize Picks app, try it out. For first time users, we have you guys on this code, code NELK, that's a 100% deposit bonus. So, if you're a first time user and you put in 100 bucks, you're going to get matched at 100 bucks for So, take advantage of that code, that's for you boys. Just take that Mahomes, boost your pick. This is the week of the Tribe Prize Picks, last football game of the season, Super Bowl Sunday. We're firing big, let's go. Good. How are you? <laughs> this is such a close setup, too. It's like a funny looking setup, right? Yeah. <laughs> For this type of pod, too. It looks so happy. Basically, you guys have seen we had a huge, huge falling out with uh, Bob Menery. It was a huge back and forth. It became like a huge drama thing online. I don't think we'll ever agree on who was right or wrong. Even right now, we still don't agree. He still thinks he was screwed. I still think that he made $1.2 million. He just wasn't grateful enough for what he made and stuff. So we'll never ever agree, but he's actually hasn't slept all night. But I woke up at 8.30 today for the gym and I'm literally making like a green smoothie and this guy had like FaceTimes me with a vodka crayon in his hand. Like he's been up all night, it's 2.50, he still hasn't slept. It's pretty crazy. But I think the deal is gonna get done. But if it doesn't, we're not gonna film this episode because I'm not having someone on the pod that's fucking suing me. So we'll see. This is the moment we've been waiting for for a while, right? Yep. <laughs> yep, yep. Did you sign it? Send it in? He liked it. Yeah. I don't believe it when we see it. I ain't some first Republican party, but I don't think it's happening. Mannery, say what's up, bro. The Mannery. I'm all good for now. Um, Bob's about to sign this shit right now, he said. Well, we're, I'm waiting, bro. It's, 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 it's. It's Dana, Dana had no faith in you, bro. No, please. You I, I let you off. always. I let you, you off. I let you off the hook. So always. Fucking bad. You have no idea. That's oh a, yeah. That's yeah. something you should remember. And you keep it down for a minute. This. That's something you're you should lucky. Know. Kyle don't listen to fucking anybody. I'll tell that's you what. what we had a. About. We had a fucking Kyle dead don't in the mud. To fucking anybody. I know your bodyguards here. But Kyle does what Kyle wants to do. I know You'd he does. You'd be in a fucking lawsuit so I, fucking I, deep. Your sugar daddy would have to fucking be spinning his wheels and spending his fucking rizzle dizzle money over there. We got endless sugar daddies. That was the thing. We could have went forever. Well, this is uh, this is a much anticipated episode here. Sure I think is. all four of us have been wanting to do this for quite some time, right? I don't know if I wanted to do it. I'm kind of yeah, getting yeah. dragged into it, but uh, <laughs> I'm here. What are you, the fucking mediator? <laughs> yeah. That probably. was actually our original idea. Well, originally. Yeah, here we go. Let's go. I tried to be the mediator, but you're too fucking stupid to mediate, mm -hmm. so uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Love that. Anyways, good to see everybody again. <laughs> It's good to see everybody, guys. Well, it feels like, you know, it feels... It feels it's but you know what I love about this? When we did the podcast last time and you came up... The first one, the uh, episode tra one? Train wreck. Train wreck, Ep Bob. Oh, that's all right. You came at me hard. I'm going to talk sure. to you about that. It wasn't minute. hard at all. You ran your mouth on me. That's not... That's where I come from. But he says that shit to you in the <laughs> where high you come from? room. I come from Lawrence, Massachusetts. Yeah, that's right. All right. Just making sure you get that's it straight right. there. Yes, um, right. <laughs> number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, true or not true? Go ahead. I, I, say, I, I say everything to your fucking face. You do. Everything That's why I was never you. I, I, I didn't say, get you don't just turn on a podcast and go like, oh man, he's no. I say it to your face. Mm -hmm. I tell you straight up all the time. He does. How I feel. I was not. And I've tried 
since day fucking one mm-hmm. to guide you through this and mm-hmm. not do what you did. Why do you raise your voice so loud True when you or talk? True no, question. I'm right, screaming. Sorry, right, great. Wait, what Anyways, was, what I was agree. Your advice to Bob? I mean, advice. It was, I was a massacre. I was eating a fucking restaurant one night, Miami or wherever I was. I hear this starts to go on. Mm-hmm. I literally get up from the fucking restaurant, go outside, and I call you. And I tell you, what the fuck are you doing? Do not do this. Get on a plane right now mm-hmm. and go to wherever the fuck you're supposed to be <laughs> and do this fucking podcast. Man. This, uh. is, a, this is a really <laughs> bad fucking decision. This is not going to be fucking good. And you're going to regret this. Yeah. Did I or did I not tell uh, you? That? I think that we had a conversation. I think that it uh, seems like Dana I, cares about you, bro. Oh, Dana's great. I mean, I look, at, I look up Dana, as you can tell. Obviously, Hollerhead rocking it from <laughs> head to toe. And that I, was he's I, coming in I've asking for it. peace <laughs> right, right out the gate. You know, I'm playing chess over here. <laughs> no, but you, I, I, I will say this: I was not, and, I was not offended when I saw the interview because I watched. You know, obviously the interview, and I'm just chilling there, you know, having a great time. You see everything really quick too. Like the second it premieres, you're already on your story, fucking talking about it. Because I have so many people that okay, fuck with wait, me, they wh- send me it. Bob, what happened when he calls you and gives you what he thinks you should do? On that day? Yeah. Oh, he's telling the story wrong. I mean, it was not, it was basically along the lines of, I mean, yeah, he gave me the recommendation of going because obviously it was a successful show, but what he didn't realize, which I don't want to get into too much because you're fucking, if I really wanted to fucking, you guys were wrong in a lot of ways. You gave me your word on certain things. You fucking did not come through with it. Such as? Equity and Happy Dad. We just talked about you for got eight an months. Offer, you got an offer for Happy we Dad. We didn't really get an but offer. But you got an Happy offer Dad. from another seltzer. It doesn't matter. You took upfront money. It doesn't matter. The, the good news is it let bygones it be It doesn't bygones. matter. Yeah. It's, it's, it doesn't matter. It's There's not one thing that I gave you my word on that I did not promise. Listen, Name we, one thing. That is, we that, can make this the shortest fucking podcast no, of no, all no, time. We're going to have a long one because you have a lot of things to talk about. In that, here is the fucking problem. The problem is, is that Bob Minery is number one absolutely fucking delusional let's mm-hmm. start with delusional Love okay it. there's no way you can disagree with that mm-hmm. you're fucking delusional can you give me a happy dad <laughs> the, the other problem is you all is that you 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 what's the word i want to use here you, you get fucking crazy and you start to think that everybody's making all this fucking money mm-hmm. and i'm getting fucked i'm getting nothing and, and all this shit Mm-hmm. And then, uh, you know, there was the whole, I introduced you guys. If you guys didn't get introduced, you guys wouldn't now, be whoa, making whoa, it doing whoa, any of these no, fucking no, no, deals. No, no, we never said it like that. We no, no, say, no, no. We wait, didn't say it wait, like that complaint. Let, let me we finish. Said, okay, let me yeah, finish ahead, and then I'll let you ramble for 45 fucking minutes. So you think all this money is changing hands and all this shit. <laughs> we, don't, we don't fucking do any money. We do things because we got together, yeah. right? And we liked each other. Yeah. And we liked doing things with and for each other. Amazing. Same. <laughs> Same. Yeah. And, 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 and none of this relationship between me and the Nelk boys is based on money. We've all become friends and we do shit for each other. Correct. Steve needs me to come over here and do this. Correct. I fucking jump up and I go over and do that for Steve. Mm-hmm. I need Steve to do something, he does it. Correct. Kyle, the Shahidis, yes. all these guys is not based on money. I get that. Okay? But when you do have something that says you're getting X amount and you're not getting X amount, that's where it becomes a problem. That was it. I mean, they're, they're done. And that, if I had gone through with that lawsuit, I love you guys, but you're fucking buried. You're done. And the only way you I beat disagree. me is you counter We'll somebody. never agree on that, but yeah. You, you were done. You were done. We'll never I, agree I, on I, that, Truthfully, yeah. I mean, it's like, I'm not like, I wouldn't bullshit about that. You were done. I was right in all my points across the board with all the ad revenue, Absolutely fucking mishaps, not. and all that. Absolutely, Absolutely okay. not. And it's not a big deal. I don't want to have this into a fight thing. You're not know. wrong. And if he did what I fucking told him to do, what was it? Well, it'd yeah, be a whole nother fucking ballgame right now for you, big guy. What was your strategy? Go. Tell me what your strategy, if you were Kyle and you wanted to play well, no, Kyle, Kyle was being nice to you. Oh, my Lord. Very nice. The Nelk boys didn't need jack shit from you. Right. And we didn't. You need, came in. Right. He brought you in. Yeah. How'd everything go for you after you left here? We decided to take some time <laughs> off. That was it. We yeah. took some time off. Yeah, you haven't but... fucking worked a day since you left here. <laughs> I can agree to that. But at the same time, like, no, I mean, I think that. Here's I the know, thing. Do you is, know me is, and him? Is, is when you think that you're worth this. Right. But you're not. We don't want... Had you stayed here and done this, right, and been with them, and you grind it out, these fucking guys work hard. They work fucking hard. Right. All these kids work hard. And, 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 you know, you come in with this inflated... um, Mm -mm, Incorrect. You're speaking not value of yourself. No, you were isolated in the situation. You weren't involved in the situation. You weren't in the day-to-day what me and Kyle dealt with. I don't even have to be. So imagine if... I don't know what there was to deal with. Imagine if 23 years ago... Right. Right? When I got together with the Fertitas, mm-hmm. there's things that I bring to the table, there's things that they bring to the table. Correct. And everybody has to keep their head on straight 
and, and realize, you know, they're a part of something bigger. Mm -hmm. Now imagine this thing starts to blow up in 2007 and, oh, well, I'm this and I'm that. And fucking these would be like, well, you wouldn't be here if we didn't have the money. Mm -hmm. Imagine if we start arguing over that kind of stupid shit. Yeah, we didn't argue, Me and for, the we didn't argue for eight months. We didn't argue. No, we didn't argue for eight you months. You didn't show up to the fucking podcast. No, you said see, they're that's, fucking that's you're wrong, Dana. We had, we had months and months of communication. And I don't want to get into it again. I don't want to. Bob, you're wrong. We had months and you're months wrong. of communication about the equity and happiness. And if you promise. stayed here and you fucking did what you were supposed to fucking do I've and you were seen, part I've of the fucking the team, yeah. you would happy all now. be benefiting off each other's relationships and hard work. No. Right. You always got, you know who you are? Yeah, yeah, Dana, this Dana, is who Dana, you Dana, are. Dana, do you know how much? You're, you're fucking Dana, guns and roses. Dana, That's who you Dana, are. Dana, let me put you in your place you're, real you're quick. You're guns and roses. Let me, let me put you in your place real quick. When you have something fucking right. great and okay. incredible. Who's and got you a drink? Can, and you can happy, keep Dad. fucking. This is already getting too much. Here's the only thing. And you can keep fucking building and doing whatever. You're telling me that, that, that guns and roses couldn't stay together for fucking the last 30 years and make music and, we were the Beatles. and, and do all we these big guns things. And roses. We were the Beatles. Yeah. Well, anyway, that's beside the point. What were you going to say? Pipe down for a minute. What were you going to say? Let me ask you one fucking question uh -huh. as I look you guys both in the fucking eye and you can say what you want about a little kid or oh, whatever. me too? Okay. Why the yeah. fuck is everybody in this fucking room together? Why? Why are you guys together? How did you guys meet? See, here we go with now this I just want, now. no, no, I just want the so, honest so, answer. I really so, want to know the story. So, so. And first I'll give you my all, version. The first, the first time it I doesn't matter. I don't want. Yeah. Well, yes, I don't Do want. Do you know how many fucking people I know and have met? Yes. Do you think we yes. needed you? No. To no, introduce but, no, us? No. But listen. But you did. Yes. And you never Thank you. shut the fuck up about it, and it was so annoying. I get it. That I gave you fifty thousand dollars and said. Correct. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I got it. I love getting you worked up, but I just wanted to make sure yeah, we just made yeah. that point clear. I just wanted to, because there's a lot of times you say your son, whatever. I just want to let you know that I went out of the but way. But if I kept listening to you on how to. Handle Dana, I don't think we'd be friends anymore. Well, that's mm -hmm. why I just handed the keys off and just said, roll yeah. with it in Abu Dhabi. Because you were the one saying, yo, you've done enough for the UFC. Pull back I remember now. Let's calling, get a bag from I'm, the UFC. I remember calling Dana White, just like your memory. <laughs> that's yeah. Sugar Daddy, number, yeah. number 30,000. Thank you, sir. Yes. This and is that's, exactly that's a fact. why mm -hmm. that's nothing a fact. ever works with him. This is incredible. He's telling Kyle, you're doing too much for the UFC. Mm -hmm. Pull back now. Yeah, oh, UFC, never. The yes, UFC, yes, no. yes. Oh, oh yes. Lord. That is, that is, that is That's bullshit. Swear on my mother's that, life. That he can impact something that big. That's why you pull all the lunacy out of relationships. It's like... Ring, 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 ring. Hey, Dana, what's This, this on, relationship <laughs> was started down, ring, ring. during hey, COVID, Dana. right? Yeah. That right. I created with the Nelk Boys. Tough to get a word in here. We, uh, <laughs> it's never based on money. I don't give a fuck about any of that we like each other, we have a f blast, and we do f together. Yeah. If, I, if we do something together, and Steve makes $150,000, nobody's happier for Steve than me, okay? Awesome. Kyle makes some money doing something. Stein, these guys are all making money. It's f great. What about f When you have the right type question. of relationship, <laughs> it all works out in the f wash, man. It all works out listen, in the wash. On, what you don't do is base relationships on chasing f Nickels and dimes. All right, well, relax. So what you're not... saying Bob was getting too greedy. Bob's a, Bob <laughs> is a f delusional <laughs> f lunatic no. who believes that everything should be based on money instead of relationships. My God. And so let's for, pass for me, let's, for, let's pass for, for me, the floor. And, 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 for me, it was, and here's another fascinating the thing about Bob. Wait, Bob, Bob, wait. Hold here's on, another go. fascinating thing about Bob. <laughs> I'll, I'll give him this too. Yes, line me up. You can you can say Bob. All right, here you go, Bob. I'll give you this much money to do this. No, 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 no. And he'll never <laughs> do it. Let me ask you. It something. won't get Wait, done. Wait, why do you say that, Dana? Because he like never follows that. through that on anything he says he's going to do. And those of you that are watching, that follow your Bob Minnery. And you can be the biggest Bob Minnery fan on <laughs> earth. Hey, listen, we Here we go. I, I'm starting a new day. We're going to. <laughs> we're we're going to podcast for you'll, you'll get, you'll get, you'll get, you'll get. And none of it ever happens. Goes into Zapville, okay, pops back out the other side. Hold it, here we go. Big yep. business meetings today. I'm flying out the big business means. Yep. He's got a new sugar daddy yep. who's gonna yep. take care of him and get Just him. Keep from it coming, keep base. it coming. If keep this guy his head on straight, yeah. do things the right way, right. you know he's homeless, right? This guy yeah. doesn't even live anywhere. He would actually he would be on a whole nother level. Okay. Had he stayed with the Nelk boys and just Shut the f up and done what he's supposed yeah, to do, guy right? No, but what happens with Bob is Bob's like, he can brainwash. hold on, very good. this whole Go podcast is me. Yeah. I got this guy and that guy and this guy. No, like these guys couldn't get those. Guys themselves, Bob took well, the initiative well, let's, let's and go he did through, it. Let's go through this. Okay, go. First and foremost, Kyle. Uh, you got you got a couple big guests that you got for us, but I think we got a lot of guests too. 
It was. It doesn't matter. We want to keep a score. That's how it's supposed to work. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to work. I get that. That's how it worked. It worked that way for eight months. But you wouldn't shut the f up no, about my, you my were thing, the guy I don't that brought get, these listen, guys listen, and those guys. First and foremost, and these you're guys. announcing UFC 300 on this. We're gonna pass the real <laughs> podcast, but you're gonna announce if you don't f announce UFC 300 on this podcast, you're a f <laughs> because now you're talking all about your boys, huh? Talk about your boys, huh? If you don't f announce UFC 300 on this podcast, shame on you. You're against everything that you. F Stand for. That's not true. Oh, don't let, let me guys are blowing this. each other. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, this is, this is beautiful. I love this. This is Bob Minery 101. Here we go. Now, this let's say great. he says this, and I do announce the main what, event for UFC 300. I f got him to do it. I put him right to the table. Yeah. And you're, I yeah. want all the f advertising for the yeah. next six months. Yeah, yeah. that's why you can't do it. Bob Minery 101. Well, hold on. Bob Minery 101. Relax. Take a break. Hey, Peter. This I'm is, the one that got him to do it. And this is a yeah. very uh, intense group here. You know? We're just kind of It's getting... actually hurting us. What is? Because now he's not going to do that for what he just said. By the end of this show, if Dana White does not release UFC 300 on this show, I will be so f disappointed. Oh, that'll hurt my <laughs> feelings. You, that'll hurt my feelings. Before yeah. he got in here, Bob claimed that you owe him 250K. Oh, I believe that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we, we were, we were a holler endorsement. 250 grand. We're going to take it on credit. We're good. <laughs> but you know why I wore this outfit was this so you, you wouldn't come at me today. Is there you any, here you are. Is there anything that Bob can do to change the way he's I acting? Think Dana, I think Dana fucks with you and he thinks you have a lot of potential, the but it just frustrates the him the way that you No, manage. no. This is the other thing. Minnery has this incredible ability, right? You can be like this guy, da, 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 da. You get on the phone with him or you talk to him mm. and you're like, I can't stay mad at this guy. He, he, yeah. You are talented. You are funny you are whatever but you are a self-sabotaging no. train wreck i mean sometimes you know we slip up a little bit but you know <laughs> the other day it's, it's do you think do you think do you think that you handled it the right way you no you even even like if you're no he's you asking know, if yeah. you handled it yeah, the yeah. Right way. if i handled the, the right way yeah. i played by the rules from start to finish i was an amazing partner don't listen to but how, right. how come when you weren't happy like, with Bro, I was how come fucking, when you I were? Was how come when you were? I got Antonio Brown. Kyle, talk, I got you guys on Sports Center. Kyle, I got you let, guys me, on let fucking, me steer you straight here, Kyle. Yeah, here we go. Today, you two can come up with a deal. You can offer him three hundred million dollars. No, no, we're, not, we're free. He will fuck it up in three weeks. No, no, maybe, but he'll I, fuck I it up in three weeks. Well, I'm not. Gonna, he can't help himself. He, he, if if things start to go right in his life and things are going in the right direction, he will sabotage it. He has to. Is some kind of mental up he has in his head that he will blow up Your anything that good that's happening for him. What's up guys, it's Sugar Sean O'Malley and after a fight, after I knock someone out, I like to drink a low carbonated happy dad I forgot the lines already. What's up guys, my name is Sugar Sean O'Malley and the only thing that gets me hard is a happy dad hard seltzer. Come on champ. Goddamn superstar, what am I doing here reading lines man? My freak see me watching there. <laughs> What was my line? Moving on. Drinking skinny cans is for losers. That's why I drink hard seltzer. Happy dad. Let's get the ladies in here. I'm sick of doing this by myself. Happy mom. The perfect seltzer for hot single moms. Or not moms. Just ladies that don't have kids. <laughs> Happy dad. Perfect drink to make love all night long to your husband or to the guy you just met holding a bell. Cut, Sean. Stick to the lines, all right? Take five. Take five. Action. Ladies, look at this. It's so big. Can I touch it? You sure f can. Cut. Your Honor, let us point to Exhibit A. Power Slap Mobile Game. Remember that campaign we ran there? Did we run a campaign? Oh, I f ran it. I didn't oh, tell yeah. you. And guess what? Yeah. That f game Well, wait. Yeah. He's, he's right in the sense so, that you, you f everything. Th this is where, this, right. is, this, this is, is, no, this is what I talk about. Yeah. There was no f campaign. This f I started said, the campaign. No, no matter if you were involved wait, or not, I started. He, uh, it. I'm gonna guess. Wait, Dana. He promotes. Yeah. He promotes. I definitely was. Oh, money. we went. No, they, no. So Dana made millions, was, no, millions no. off this game when I so did. So what millions. happened was there was so much money flowing out of his pockets. He gave me a nickel and a bubble gum wrapper. Yeah. <laughs> well, but you, he let's didn't go, ask you to promote it, did he? I'm walking through the streets of London. Okay. Yeah. Calls me on the phone. Hey, I'm zapped to some bar. Let me show everybody around the phone. Okay. We do do that a lot, which I'm fine with. Yeah. So th then he's like going off about power slapping. Oh, this is ridiculous. Take the L. Just take the L. It's never going to work. This and that and everything else, right? Mm. Business. Uh, I'm getting business <laughs> advice from Bob Minery, okay? <laughs> Hilarious. Let's start there. Yeah, yeah. So then, we, we, you know, 
power slap obviously takes off and kills it and does really well. Oh, now he's yeah, like, that's hey, you that's how do I get involved in this power slap thing? Give me a bite. Let me in, whatever. And, and he's like, and I'm like, yeah. You, the guy who didn't believe in this thing or whatever. He goes, yeah. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to become the number one player in the world on power slap. I said, yeah. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. You know what the mother does? He actually goes out and becomes the number one player i know so what oh, i said yeah. was i want to say 10, you said, said top 10 you break into the top 10 i'll give you 20 grand and i 20 said grand? what if i get to number one it was double what, what? so it was 10 20 it was 10 20 10 20 10 20 light said, money for by the way for a big guy like you very light money by the way and, i won't say a, that well <laughs> should open up your pocket a little more i was there. joking don't even give me style i on was that. joking because in a million years yeah. i never thought this guy would make it into the top 10 on the game oh, right oh exactly so then he starts going and you know how he gets i'm getting the text messages one oh, after yeah. another oh, after yeah. another yeah. so then i'm like holy f- this I'm guy's like, like number, number 13 play. right now or something yeah. so then i put a post out and said do not let bob Henry make it to the number one f- spot mm-hmm. yeah but you know what's there. even so fun? let me just f- we ran there? no campaign and there was no whatever uh-huh. it was a f- joke because yeah, 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 but bob bob Wait, listen by the way there's always one version of every story he may scream he may shout he did it he That's did it, and I did pay him twenty grand. Deal. But Dana, he paid Dana, you. Of course, Dana's unbelievable. Dana's one of the greatest guys when it comes to money. Everything. He's great. I'm not going to say that. that. Dana, and he should be. He's did you ever pay the ten? Makes grand a lot of money. Tornado or no? He got the ten grand. I got, oh he got God. more than ten grand. Dana's, this guy's got, no, Dana's this, done a lot. This, That's, this I'm not talking you. Dana's done a lot. We'll sit here and cry about money all day. This guy gets more money. Hotel rooms, no, rides, no, no. cars, haircuts. Listen. You name. Hey, I'm in your city. Who cuts hair? Oh, uh, Sean, fucking whatever. <laughs> this is, he's the king of the <laughs> mooch, okay? Oh, but he honestly, wait, wait, I, I, hey, hey, but by the way, I pull- if, if, if there's anything <laughs> he wants great. for free, he will figure out how to get it. He I mean, has that, that personality and is, that ability to bro, do it. Is bro, he wrong about was, that, though? Budget, is he wrong yeah, about that? Yeah, budget cuts this past two years have been budget cuts. It's been, we had to tighten up a little bit, so yeah. So he's right about all <laughs> we, that. You'll yeah. do it for a free haircut. No, I mean, I don't, I don't think it's that. Well, actually, there's been times that look probably, yeah. <laughs> Definitely times where I've done that. But you're wrong about a lot of things you say uh, about uh, I want the power slap thing that we did, by the way. I, I didn't tell you. You know when you went, I could have pulled the best prank on you ever, but I'm too nice. That you uh, were Bud Light guy? What do you think, I'm stupid? Oh, please, get your fine information. What do you think, I'm stupid? He's like, yeah. But I made, but that's pretty funny, right, isn't it? It's hilarious. I had a big Bud Light guy. I was waiting guy. for so that. I Number one out. guy in the world. I'm baiting Dana, and I'm like, "Hey, Dana, if some guy he passes me, me, I'm not f- stupid." No, yeah, yo, no. you were so, f- you were so not aware of what the f- was going on. Oh I'm my. number one in the world, right? So I go, "You should make this campaign, Dana, where if somebody passes you, you get to number fucking one. You should give him this extravagant fucking thing, fly him in a private jet, all this fucking shit." Dana's like, "That's a great idea. I'm fucking in. You're a genius." That never better. fucking like, happened. You're ever. a genius. I'm like, "All right." First of uh, all, that you know, never like, fucking happened. Congratulations. <laughs> You get a first class ticket, little as you know, I'm the fucking guy that he has to fucking fly out, big butt light guy. Which was the most genius fucking move ever. Literally, I none of that fucking, fucking happened. Game. So what happened was, yeah. when he starts actually breaking into Incorrect. the fucking top <laughs> ten, I'm like, I cannot let this fucking guy get to number one. Right. So I tell the people. Great, great game, by the way. It so is, I tell the people job. to start fucking, don't let Bob Mindery get to number one. <laughs> so there was this guy, I can't Numbers remember. This, the, another Woof. guy that was like from the UK or something. All of a sudden, big Bud Light guy or whatever pops up and starts going. So I'm like, because he did a controversial deal with Bud Light, you know, it was all that shit. So, so I, so I made it like funny. Like I was gonna bring a trend. Uh, wait, wait, wait did, but not controversial. Know. So I, I fucking like, uh, definitely controversial. I, I, I start trying to reach out to the guys that are in the top three, and yeah. there's no fucking. Doubt. They were right. Bud here. Light guy <laughs> is him and his team. There's no <laughs> doubt about it. Sugar Daddy's probably funding the whole <laughs> thing to pay yeah, I all these guys to. <laughs> they must have guys in a room for. Hours just going yeah. at this thing, yeah. and oh, uh, I could have knew it was them. I, no, you didn't. And you I'm the one. I'm the one that said I'm reaching out and giving somebody a big f- trip, and then and he's, I kept baiting him to go bigger. I was like, "That's you got a private jet, get it? Yeah. Go, oh yeah, I'm excited, I'm excited." I can't well, you know, just five minutes like ago, that. he just said that he called me and told me you should give a big. Tr- eh, 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 eh. Never f- happened. He was like, "I can't I'm wait to fly." I'm the one that f- f- did it, yeah. and then he he was. I drove you on that. I wasn't. Supposed to do a, something for the UFC a long time ago? Oh my God! I mean, talk about like. Uh, Listen to me. Wait, holy moly! Nobody Bob. is more full of than Minnery. Oh, okay, he's so full. I of yeah. you why didn't Why didn't you want him to get to number one so bad on Power Slap? He did. He because won. he told he, me he was gonna he do won. it. I, I didn't believe he was gonna do it, and he actually we, did we, it. One of my friends. Like, when, when he does it, does that you off? Here's my, no, 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 it didn't me off. And just you know, there's 
hundreds of thousands of people playing this thing, no, and he tells no, me he's going to get. By the way, the- there wasn't. I hate to tell you, <laughs> really? we did the <laughs> math on that one. Really? Yeah, yeah it wasn't hundreds of thousands of players. It was like fourteen yeah. that we came in. Now there's hundreds. Four and, of and a half million in revenue in three months. <laughs> yeah, again. Enough, there you go again, dickhead. Yeah, well, We're talking I'm, about shit no, you don't fucking I, know I, about. I, we didn't disclose the numbers after I ran a very successful campaign. You never told me the numbers. He probably spent four and a half head. million himself, huh? I to like get you to number one. I like this. Here, please, sir, we want some more. There was no Listen, more. Listen, instead it. of all the money you're spending on fucking power slap, get him yeah. a psychiatrist, okay? Yeah, yeah. Why don't you start there? Get him some good psychiatric help. Don't ever help. talk to my sugar daddy like that. <laughs> right? All right? You, you, they are protected. You understand me? So. Uh, do you, do you anyway, think- no, I wasn't mad. The thing was with, with Minery, Bro, if I flown, first of all, I he came out and said, chill. take yeah, the like, L on power slap, I'm right? Stream so, all of those. Da, 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 da. Then he tells me that all these kids are playing the fucking game, and he's telling me he's going to make it to number one. So many kids. Then he breaks into the fucking top 13. Yeah, so I was like, yeah, this can't fucking happen. I, then I, I was like, okay, I got him. Wait, so would you say there's anything he does right now? Well, well, oh, then my God, dude, that's first how many says, fucking downloads you got on my fucking shit? How many? And you money? appreciate was a Bob money all the internet knows. First he says, oh, uh, I came up with this whole campaign. No, there no, was no, never no. a fucking no, campaign. No, it was John. But it was this John. is the delusion right here, right? I came up with this campaign for Power Slap. It was never a fucking campaign. What do you call bringing you, you, 25,000 downloads? That's a campaign. <laughs> I ran a campaign. I fucking Aussie. killed it. So a campaign means that you and I got together and said, hey, let's oh, no, organize no, no, yeah. this fucking... No. Yeah, this you talked me. fucking shit. Yeah, because I took the lead. I knew what I, I could do I said you couldn't fucking do it. Yeah. You did it. And as you started to get closer, I said, oh, shit, this can't fucking happen. Come yeah. on, people. Come in and beat them. Do you know when I knew it was successful? When I broke the fucking app. Your yeah. app was broken. They couldn't even uh, handle it. And by the way, your sport of power slap, I can help you with it. I, anyway. I don't know. Okay, but wait, Daniel. Let's but no, get back to the delusion. Yeah. This is the fucking delusion <laughs> this guy has. First, he says we started a campaign, which if I agreed, oh, yeah, we started a campaign, I probably owe him $150,000 now. <laughs> that tab is a lot more than that. I'll tell you it's that. More much. than that. Way more than that. You He's wearing a Hallerhead sweatsuit. 100%. You didn't take that into account. Yeah. But, but, but this is what this Couldn't is really what get happens many buyers with this, this fucking guy. This is here is the problem, right? Yeah. He, he creates these fucking things that are complete delusion, yep, that aren't yep. fucking true. Then he says, uh, what did he just say? Again, that I said, that's not fucking true either. Mm. He throws so much shit out that's full of shit, you know, I can't you know, remember you know, it's which you know. ones were. Okay, you know, wait, 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 hold on. Go ahead, Stan. How, how do you feel about Kyle giving him another opportunity to come back on? Kyle, say- Kyle's the best, man. I, I give Kyle all the credit in the world, and... Yeah. and uh, uh, yeah, fucking blow, let's just blow each other a little more. Hey, wait, but I blow your pants out or what? You guys have fucking hard arms right now? Suck each other off a little more. It, it, Here's the deal. It, Let me tell it, you it's this. It's fucking true. Listen. Yeah, go ahead. Hard to get a fucking so, word in here with fucking hey, slappy. So I'm just going to tell you right now. I'm yeah. going gonna, gonna to have a Nostradamus moment here. Predicting mm. the future. Okay? Yep. So we're here in this podcast right now talking about Kyle and Kyle's forgiven. Da, 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 da. Mm-hmm. A year from now, mm-hmm. we'll be doing this podcast yeah. with you. <laughs> what, You're Daddy? next, motherfucker. Sugar Daddy's coming in. You're next. He'll okay. be the next guy we're having the podcast with. Listen, what I do is I just. Are cr- you gonna forgive Bob? Are you gonna fucking let Bob up? You know. You're next. You know. I'll never, you're I, ready, brother. I'll never forget the do you day. Know, do you know what we agreed to? I told you. No, no, no. We don't talk about a deal agreement. Wait, but not, not too oh, much. But Bob's talking about all the deals he wants to talk to. Bob's gonna be on six episodes in one calendar year. Hey, by the way, by the way. What do you think about Dana? Dana, can you believe Dana? Can you believe this, Dana? You know what I did? You're gonna give him six episodes. Motherfucker, everybody oh, needs talk to, to me. Everybody yeah, yeah. Tell needs, me what you're going to bring to the Everybody table. needs to take a, see this, here's a muzzle for you, a muzzle definitely for you, and here's one for you. You understand this, brother. This fucking show right here, <coughs> from the ground up, I built with these guys. Side, I taught this what kid. What was he on, be, six podcasts back then? He did yeah, like six yeah. or seven before you, he blew yeah, up. Listen, but yeah, why'd you uh, leave then? We left because it came to a point there was just disrespect. It wasn't. And I did not like the fucking Colby Covington Who has shit. ever heard of someone like making $1.2 million dollars off on a, pod. a podcast? Yeah. That's and insane. when he was on the podcast, Sounds guess who was... Co- it's incorrect. One day when he was on the right. pod, too, Nasta I would see on Instagram, Doesn't like, matter. other companies running ads of you, mm-hmm. AT&T called you. We had a successful like, show. You're getting for, so listen, much business well, outside the pod, too. a successful show, with a successful show comes money. And when we have something set up where we have X amount of the ad revenue, but we're not But like Dana said, I don't think it would ever have been enough for you. Like, uh, how much it, did you want to make? I didn't want anything. I didn't care how, about a well, penny. You can a, ask anybody. I care about the respect. Mm, that's all no, I that's am. Bullshit. You can ask fucking respect. Yeah, that respect. number sounds very disrespectful. Yeah. It was, it was, it was, by the way, he's... For you to show up and fucking babble And that, that money's hour. going yeah. straight in your it pocket. It was a lot of behind-the-scenes work that included a lot of shit. I mean, you know... That's how fucking jobs work. That's how life works. I, I get it. That's a an lot, insane that's amount of money. a lot of work. I get it. How hard? I'm not complaining. You, I think it was and, very. And you can't deny how yeah. hard these fucking kids work. These oh, kids I think they're beasts. Work. Yeah, I think but it'd be all work. He's selling to come on the biggest podcast, right? Guys, that, Wait, it's Dana, so Dana. frustrating. Wait, Bob, hold on. 
How, how does he determine what his worth is if he can't do it then? Why even have 30% of the ad revenue in the fucking thing? Well, I think when sense. he left, he found out what his worth Where was. Where was that? No, we, took, we took a personal <laughs> vacation. We there took was 1.2 million. When you left, you found out no, what no, your no, worth no. was. We just, we just were like, your worth was fucking you know what it. Was? You know what it was? I was like this. When I left, and not trying to be whatever, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to try and live a normal life and then kind of backfired. I just didn't want to like. <laughs> so do you regret anything you did? Do I regret anything I did? The answer is yes, or he wouldn't be sitting here right now. You have to, yeah. Just give me a second. I'd like to think about <laughs> Well, what, uh, what happened? Re- the answer is yes, or he wouldn't I'm, be in this well, fucking room right now. Well, no. It's right. a big fucking Y-E-S. We're in this room because, you know, these are my, these are my brothers at the end of the day, and I want to make sure that, you know, they're, they're I don't want to, I don't want to, I never sued anybody in my life. Never been sued. Never have. Which is fucking unbelievable. I know, huh? Let's start there. Wait, wait, wait. Talk about, that's, that's talking about a sweet talk, huh? Talk that's about a, a sweet miracle in yeah, itself. Yo, did you guys have a conversation I always before just you, your you talked about bringing Bob on? on? What, right now? No, like in the very beginning. Did you talk to Dana about bringing Bob on in the very beginning? They've been in cahoots in the, the beginning whole time. Of the they blow each other podcast? Yeah. on Friday nights. They're good. No, I had nothing to do with I'm it. I'm not sure. No, okay. I, I had nothing to do with it. I was just podcast. asking if he asked for your really? advice of like bringing no, Bob I, on. No, I mean, we, it's the same way we all feel about Bob. I believed in him. Guys, a lot of, a lot of fucking listen, 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 let me speak. Let me speak. Let me speak. Bob, let him go for a second. Go ahead. It was when we started the show, I thought Bob was hilarious, just like all of us. A lot of people told me, don't work with him. Yeah. But I believed in you. That's always going to happen. And you know what I mean? No offense. You weren't like the biggest thing. The oh. Full Send podcast was yeah, going to skyrocket yeah, no matter what. We were pushing traffic from the I think what we did was channel. tremendous work for your Yeah, platform. you got a lot of great tremendous. guests. We were killing you it. Said but then, the, uh, you said But then you just stopped showing up, bro. Is everything all right over there? We did, we, you, I did, we did tremendous work for you, which we should have. Like Dana says, you don't need to fucking for But you were making for, a shit ton of money. You stopped showing up, and then you just blasted me on social media. Incorrect. And it's, I was just like, dude, this no, guy, no, I can't no. even You, you did blast him. Can we go back to that TikTok that you posted of you being like, pay me my money. There's spit all over your face. me at all. All that matters is two things. Dana talks about UFC 300 and releases the names. See, this today. is how he, he's deflecting, or, right? I'm not deflecting. Kyle, I, Kyle was incredibly good to you. Brother. And you fuck. I don't know what I could have done Kyle. better. I've never, I don't I've know never what seen I him treat anybody, anybody like the way to, he treated you, bro. Do you guys? I'll tell you that. There's a lot of stuff because I am such a respectful ass dude, and I will not bring things up. But there was a lot of issues that I didn't bring up and I'm not going to bring up. That's it. That's all I'll say. And I am confident that if we had went through with that lawsuit, we would have. What's fascinating is that. Here we go. Here's your attorney. None of issues were you. You're issueless. No. You know what's funny? You are a in, fucking walking, but wait, talking, fucking I'll, I'll issue. tell you what. Okay. I will agree that there are times where I definitely fuck up a lot. Like it happens. Yeah. A thousand these, percent. These guys. No. If you, sho- if you showed up, you would have These guys who run a successful business. Yes. They get along. They fucking fly around the world. They do hard work. These guys had a lot of issues, but you were issueless. Yeah. You were not. No, a I, I think I, I actually really. If I had to give myself a grade on my performance and my dedication and my whatever, to you were doing great, and then you just fell apart. Yeah. No, no, no. What it was, Kyle was. You know why? Oh, here we go. You started to become successful. You started to make money. No, no, no. You were killing. You were killing. And, it. and then you just shut himself. down. I, I can't get into details. So I don't want to get into that. That the details because the lawsuit thing were. You done. are self-sabotaging. No, no, no. You are a walking, talking, listen, fucking issue. Li- listen, listen. Here's and a, and if anything remotely yeah. good starts to happen in your life, you have to. Blow it up. I mean, there may be like times like that what happens, but it's like at the end of the day, that's what it is. But like, I know that I put my A plus effort into that, and you know that. Come on, stop. I'm not. I'm not. I mean, you picked up the phone at three in the morning. This is what happened. Me, Steve, will well, do dude, because you're the only one awake. Will test this. You're the only one awake at that time. <laughs> yeah, at and five guess what happened? And we're sitting down with the president of the United States because of that. Now it was you. I will give you that. But you better. Fucking, <laughs> yeah, how, yeah, you better yeah. Let's let's talk about that. Right how is Trump oh. remotely? You're doing. How was Trump? Tell us my how. F- doing with well, a hundred thousand. Miles. Okay. Not even close. Just just because you well, thought of the idea to get Trump on. Wait. Wait. Let him. Let him. Let him. Let him give his answer. I have. You yeah. got all. You, you got all done. No idea. No. Wait. Wait. Let, let Bob. Trump on him. But you got it done let for Bob us. Let Bob say why. He but you remember the mother hungry dog that doesn't do anything. That at three in the morning. Okay, wait. Steve will do it. Shut the fuck up, Steve. <laughs> Steve will fucking do it. And five girls in the hotel room. What does that I have to do with anything? Shut up, the fuck up, Steve. I take a. Okay. I swallow That's every it. night. I get superpowers. <laughs> That's every and night. All of a sudden, my brain. <laughs> That's every night. Bro, Steiny. <laughs> you do that every night. You did it last night. You even slept Hold today. Hold on. Let him, let him tell the story. I can't oh, wait to hear this. No sh- You're involved in this story. I Hopefully, you tell it right this time. So I'm f- sitting there, and I'm like, obviously, like, just it's me and Steve, and like five. This is like five, five girls in a hotel room, and I'm sitting there, and I'm like, I always told Kyle, I'm like, we got to just hit, like, we always had to be on it. That's what I was deadly with. Like, I was always like, we got to be like Antonio Brown rips his shirt off. I'm like, we got to get him. And you know what we do? I mean, everybody wanted that story. Tom Brady, everybody wanted to know that. I said, Kyle, I'm going to introduce you to Sports Center. I'm going to introduce you to Sports Center. You ever been to Sports Center? <coughs> Milk Boy YouTubers? I'm going to get you on Sports Center. Yeah. What did we I do? Like that was we got Antonio Brown. He's yeah, like, bro. That was your first, you got on Sports Center yeah. too, buddy. You know? Yeah. What you mean? You that were was on big for you as well, Sports Center multiple times. You know who you're talking to? 
Yeah. Okay, go on with your story. I want to hear the story. Then that's it. So I called Antonio, and Antonio ripped his shirt up, and I said, I called him 50 times. I didn't stop. Like you, I called you that night. I was fucking Antonio. And he was the most unreliable guy, but actually pulled through for me as a man. But during that moment, regardless of his name, that was the biggest moment in sports at that time. And I went to fucking war. And I was like, I'm going to get him. That was a big and one. Fuck, we sure. got him, and we got, we got him before ESPN. We got him from fucking Barstool. Before everybody wanted him. You know what I did? Actually, that was the only guess we paid. No one's denying that. No, Wait, no, but no, Bob, I, I know, Bob, but it's not, it's not that we's denying it, but no, I want to. No, no, no one's But as you guys that. tell me and bash me, I have to like, you make that happen? How'd you make that happen? But we're not that? denying that. It's I what you're supposed to fucking yeah, do exactly. when you're part well, of the fucking. Well, that's, that's incorrect. No, that's because true. How's that not correct? That's incorrect. I believe you should always be. Wait. Are you listening to this? I'm listening. Wait. Listen closely. Wait. I can't wait to hear What that requires, that which I did on a consistent basis, what that requires to get that shit done. Is it hard to do, bro? Yeah. Like, so it's how fucking much did hard you, to what, what number so I, would you And I did that with? every fucking week, Dana. Wait, wait. Everything you do in yeah, this but business. But that's good. But I want to know. What, what I didn't like, business, Dana, what I didn't business, like, this business. what I didn't like is my brother looked me in the eye and said, hey, give me your hand. He said, you're a part of Happy Dead. Yeah. You have a piece of this. You got an offer. Well, why the fuck am I not an equity partner in Happy Dad? Because you got an it offer. It doesn't matter Dude, if I got no You were drunk in Nashville and no, you told me and Sammy. Brother, this you're like, I don't want Happy Dad. Matter. I, I got, I got another seltzer listen. offer and I'm going to bring it on Kyle, the pod. Kyle, I, I, listen, it's, it's fine. You know that, what happened to the I, weed I CBD? think you guys have done a great job. It's all good. You're no, killing it. You're, it the doesn't point you're missing is that. Yeah, go ahead, Steiny. That is a fact that you know about. Hold on, hold on. The point that. You know that. It doesn't matter. You already admitted it before the pod. It doesn't matter anymore. That's good. You got an offer from another seltzer and it was a cash deal. You took the cash, told them it would be on the Fullsome podcast. Then came to us and said, I want to bring another seltzer on the pod. We, well, we said, are you fucking Told crazy? Them we're going to bring the, were they ever brought this seltzer on the podcast? No, because we said no. We, and no, that's why yeah, yeah. That's I mean, why you, that's why you went all missing, in and said, missing, I want a new deal in you're 24 missing the hours. Oh, I'm not showing what up. I'm, what I'm talking that about is, is Minery 101 well, there, go. too. I can't wait to find that That's exactly what happened. Let's go to the Steve. You did that to Steve two fucking weeks ago. Oh, want to talk about Steve? Yeah. Wait, no, wait, wait. Oh, before we do that, Steve. wait, before we do let's that. Talk, no, no, let's fucking no, pause. No, come, no, no. No, no, you I'll, I'll, let, let fucking yeah, me yeah. and Zappy go out of one-on-one. Oh, man, you know what's funny is... Let's talk about Steve. You go in that big, beautiful Red Rock room. High yep. limits. Yep. You got fucking Batman who always comes in to save him, right? Okay. You know, over time, you snuck him like 60 grand here, 30 grand, 90 grand, saved him. He saved us, too. I got the number one spot in that fucking room right now. Yep. I bailed him out for 2.5 million. 2.5? With options included? I thought it was a million. Yeah. With okay. options included. So I have the throne so, so in that high-limit blackjack room, so, my friend. So, so a million. They put up a million in cash, right? So we haven't we signed that thing with them, right, John? <laughs> okay. You got 10%, though, you just said. So no, I didn't. You just said 2.5. You just said you got 10%. So, so options don't I, matter I don't until they fucking cash. I don't want to discuss Steve's deal. I'm joking. We don't want to discuss Go Steve's ahead. deal. But at the end of the day, I told Steve, because, again, I have a tendency to take an Adderall sometimes and think I have superpowers. So I took it, and I was like, Steve, I just saw you lost a million. You know, it was like, damn, I can't let my brother go down like that. This is the kind of guy I am. Unlike you, you rat. I oh, fucking go, Steve, I want to get him. I go, Steve, I got your million dollars. Give me 24 hours. I was like, gunk. Everybody went to bed. <laughs> Everybody went to sleep. Mentory was pacing around the high limit room, cranking on calls. You know what I did? I brought him in a briefcase of a million dollars and a silver platter. So I will say this. What are you going to say now? That's dope. Oh, I got it. That's wait, dope. Wait, wait. <laughs> Danny, go ahead. <laughs> so, first it. of all, oh, here we let's go. start here. Oh, boy. Steve, Steve was in a bad place. And we got him out of it. No, Steve needed to go home. What Steve needed to do was go home. Steve is in there for 48 hours. Yes. Caught up in this and wouldn't leave. Right. Steve's parents were trying, in there trying to intervene yeah. and get him home. By the You're way, the great- there, running around. Oh, I'm in here. Right? Here's a million dollars, everyone. Here, like but Santa Claus. But you're, but you're <laughs> offering <laughs> deals without knowing what all of his deals already are. I knew what his deals were. I know all the things going oh, on. Oh, yeah, you're, you're, you're <laughs> yeah. dialed in well, on hey, all the different let me this, Dana, that he has going let me on. This, Dana. Was I so I'm get... in there trying to get <laughs> Steve to go home and telling him, Steve, we live here. Mm-hmm. We live in there. You don't live in Miami now. You live in Vegas. Mm-hmm. This place ain't going away. I agree. It's going to be here. I agree. Go home, work out, do the superhuman protocol, mm-hmm. go <laughs> take some time off and we'll do whatever. You're in there trying to get him to play more. Stream, no. stream. No. We got I do think the stream is, I think that you guys do, by the way, real quickly, I think the greatest show on. Wait a minute. No, no. you just Wait, rattled off a finish. bunch of bullshit. Now answer me. You're in there pushing him to stream and gamble more. I am so sorry that I brought somebody a million dollars. That's not the point. Right. Hold on. The point, the point is we're trying to help him. We're not looking at him as, oh. we're not looking at the money. Mm-hmm. We're looking at the human, Steve. Friendship, friendship. And oh. Steve, Steve yeah. is one of the greatest kids in the world, the but best. Steve goes off the rail sometimes I agree. Okay? 
And mm -hmm. everybody who surrounds him's job is to get Steve back on the rails. And, and now and I am you're off the rails 24 seven. Okay, <laughs> that so is correct. But off, I, off a rail Steve yeah. is a bad combo. Okay, correct. But it's funny because we're both off the rails for some reason. We kind of work together and it makes sense. <laughs> and that's what it is. And I am the first guy to be like Steve, like, so we Steve, let's keep going. No, I just Steve, say, get that stream going. That's you. That's who you are. No, I just felt like Steven Spielberg back there producing the greatest uh, even though I really wasn't well, it sounds like, it's, it's not the great producing the greatest train wreck ever. Whatever you want to call Until it gets to a point where it hurts Steve. <laughs> no, because I'm never telling him to push more money to bet. What I was always trying to do is, first of all, I lost a million. Oh, here's a million. No, I'll but it sounds you. like you got him that out of guilt of being there. And I got that street. out because he's my boy. And that's it, Stein. Yeah. It's something you would never If do. he's your boy, then you want Steve to leave and, the casino. And guess not what? stay and keep streaming. Oh, we, we didn't have him stay. He was like done. I, so what happens I is walked when, away. What happens is when you get into that zone where you're gambling like he was fucking gambling yeah. is you have to get him out of there and you have to go do other things and get you you have to get your life back on track yeah, i'm not that guy i'm, I'm always like oh you know, yeah so you're the know guy that, getting you know, people I'm back getting, on track yeah I, the yeah, only thing i love about that, i do think the stream is the most unbelievable entertainment i've ever seen and i think everybody can say it i think you guys i don't and i don't disagree with you i think yeah. it's a great thing so i always was like can i but keep the steve lights on was in a bad place steve needed well, to leave that casino yeah. and you were trying to make him stay Got and it. keep Stream. Got it. Steve was in a bad place. I got him two and a half million dollars. That's not about the, not about the money. I under, about but we the push money. him any further. He, the I Bob, get it. He's Management. saying it's about friendship and, and getting out I of the casino. Why did I spend eight hours with Steve trying to say, hey, Steve, why don't we get people to okay, come so, here? So, so you can ask Steve this yourself. Yeah. So when I play Batman and I roll in 30, 60, 90. Well, you are Batman. Why do you think I'm coming in with the 30, 60, 90? So he can keep playing? No, I come in with the 30, 60, 90 so he will go home. I want him to go home. That's why I come. You know what I don't get? I, I get, get up at get 2 o'clock in the morning. This, like shelf of being a bad I come influence. in at 2, 3, 4 in the morning to do this stuff for Steve yeah. so that Steve will go home. Yeah. Because if I don't, Steve's going to stay there for 48, 72 fucking hours, whatever it is, mm -hmm. and keep going. Yeah. And Steve's drinking. Steve's mm -hmm. chain smoking cigarettes. Mm -hmm. He's dipping that crazy shit he's throwing in. The <laughs> yeah. Steve's off the rails. I want Steve back on the rails. Yeah. That's why I go in and do that stuff because he's my friend and I care about him and oh. I want him to leave. Well, I apparently don't. I, I, you know. I'm not, and I'm not saying yeah. that you don't. But you, I love, you don't, I love Steve like But you don't do it the right way. Yeah. And you can't come in and do a million dollar deal for Steve when you don't know what the rest of Steve's deals are. Yeah. And you don't know what the rest of Steve's, you don't know yeah. who Steve is obligated to in these different No, spaces. I did, I did. That's why I cleared. And now ways. Steve has to deliver for this million great, dollar guy. Great fucking deal. And I can get him out of it. It's all good. <laughs> I can get him out of it. No big deal. Talk to Agent Mitter. Point. Jerry Maguire. I got um, you. And I'm not saying. I told you that night. Yeah. Wow, that's fucking amazing that you, yeah. you did a million bucks. But yeah. you don't know what the rest of his deals you, are. And, and, and You know what my commission was? Zero. Zero. Yeah. But, you, but Steve will never hear the You said you got 100K. No, no, you no. You said no, they no. gave you 100K. No, no. Steve, Steve will Steve, never hear the end of this for the rest Steve, of his life. Steve, Steve, Steve will tell you if he was here. He does know. He was right here. He can't talk. He's right there. If he was here. He's, He's right, right there, there actually. Yeah. Well, I didn't know that whole YouTube shit going on everything. He does a lot of that. Okay, but here. wait, I think it's important to go back to how we got Antonio Brown, right? Since he left, we've had Elon Musk, Trump twice. Who else? But but you have to give him credit. But, but at I the do, point but in time, Dan, you think at, no, that's part of his job. At the point in time, that. it's 100% that's part my of job. his job. So when they do, and when he did do it, it's a fucking great thing. But that's what you're supposed to fucking do. Right. You're, you're, you're a part of the team. You're in the podcast. I, I wish so you, you know what you don't do? Pat yeah. yourself on the back. Go, also, but it's, but it's very hard. Guy, guy, but it's very guy. hard. I'll say it once. That's very, when, when you start talking like that, that's when shit goes off the fucking I get rails. You. Listen, listen. I don't ever really. So my you, point. Wait, wait, Bob. My ahead, point being is when he says that and the other guys get Elon Musk, fucking Snoop Dogg, OJ. They're not saying, hey, OJ. hey, you owe me this, whatever. OJ, 100%. Right? But, OJ. but that's, that's, your part, that's part of your job when you're a part of OJ a team Simpson. and you're a part of building something and you're a part of a business. When you're a part of a team, you never start patting yourself on the back and going, hey, everybody, I did this and fucking I no, did that. No, you don't. You, I agree. I agree with you there. I but just want to know do, how stop, much. Stop, 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 stop. Hold on. You, you don't, but you do start that's doing right. it out of rare desperation where you have to when people are running your name through the mud when actually you didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything. I did, I did my job perfectly well no, with that. No, nobody ran your you name. You were running the my mind. name through the You're mind. the one that came out first and started fucking going ballistic and, and going crazy on the Nelk boys. Yeah, we had some issues that And day. I was calling you, telling you, stop. Call Kyle. I don't Go see it. Kyle I mean, right now. We're allowed to talk shit to each other. You talk shit to me on there. Why can't I talk shit on the internet? What's the big deal with it? No, it was just no, it so was, what you it should was, have done. It was different you, than that, though. You should have been a fucking man. Yeah. Jumped on a plane. Mm. Flew and sat down with him yeah. and talked to him like a fucking... Or even just stayed on like the phone. Like two grown men the only and issue said, here's is what I'm happy with and this is what I want. And, I and you guys could have met in the middle or not. And you guys could have figured it out and 
They, they probably would have paid you and, and done whatever because at that, at that point in time, Kyle was your fucking guy. We definitely would have figured it out. And that's why Boys. when I got in the middle of this thing, yeah, yeah. I was telling you to do that because yes. I knew how much Kyle cared Ky- about Kyle you. Kyle does not need Bob Mentory, right? But I knew how much Kyle cared about you. Yes. And this is what, what I go back to when I say you do this because you have some self-sabotaging thing in your fucking brain that whenever anything goes right, you right. have to blow it this up. This was the one rare exception maybe that didn't happen. This relationship between me and him, 1,000%, I was not at fault. And I know that for a you fact. You weren't at fault? No, there's been many other times. How? You, you, How do you, 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 you were so that, at fault. Because How? Just get on that plane and go, right? And go to that episode like you told me. The problem was that was like the fifth, sixth, okay, seventh. I, I hate to go say ahead, this no publicly, idea. and I'm sorry if you're fucking, if this bums you out. No, boy, hold on. Slow down. Don't be, ease back. Easy. What are you about to say? When you, when I you did this, you so I was up. the middleman in this thing. Yeah. When you fucking did this, right? Mm-hmm. All you had to do was fly and see him, and this all would have been fucking fixed if you handled this like a fucking stand-up man mm-hmm. and did it the way it should have been done. Mm-hmm. You fucking, you hurt him bad when you did it. No, he, we had some, we had some, no, bu- no, we no. some balls. We some, I love Kyle like a brother. You fucking hurt him when you did it. He was hurt by this. I know that. And that, that that's and why, I, me and Kyle are brothers at the end of the day. We love each other. Fucking, we're good. At the end of the day is there was disrespect shown, I thought, and it came to a point where no. we were so polite. You weren't there. No, he doesn't, he doesn't love you now. That's he, not true. He has you to. fucked him over. Choice. No, you fucked fuck. him. No. You hurt him. How? And I ran my mouth and talked a little shit the same way you're doing to me. What's wrong with that? Listen, I mean, uh, when you work to build something for ten years, like I built milk, we and built, like someone we, tries to burn that down, it's a different we didn't type try to of burn like, it down. Wait, that's, feeling. That's another topic. Is what were you doing before the full time pod? I mean, we had the number one show. Hey, sports. Peter, I'm we had, fucking we had, we had, we had, You were number one in sports when I came on and talked about nine oh five shooter. That's it. You, were, you definitely helped our numbers. No, that was the only time I you were that. number I, one. I had Kyle. Do you remember that episode? We had you and Kyle. And all that. That definitely it went number us. one when we came and broke yeah, the I mean, news that's about 905. That, that was the time You're when I called. You're saying your number one was that when you had That was the time when I bro. called. I, actually, that was the exact time How when I called. How many number ones have you had since you left? Three. Yeah. Total. You, 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 Three. You, no. Zap was one for a little bit, right? You're, no, you're he said that was one. four. Yeah, I mean, it is You're delusional. All I know is this, is that I think that this whole entire thing, I think that when me and Kyle were running at the, you know, speed we were running and going always, you know, getting the most relevant people. That's what our goal was. I mean, there was nobody that worked harder. And I will say this, and I'm not going to fucking do this. I, I, I worked, Kyle said it in the Mike Tyson episode. We're not, we're, I'm not denying that. Right. Yeah. So that just make but, sure you But then say it just, it came to a that. complete halt. It came to a complete you halt. Hit a, you but hit that a wall. The problem, the problem what, what you just said, nobody's denying this, yeah. but you don't shut the fuck up about it. It's all you talk about. That's where your delusion comes in. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's because- And bro, was, you got That's what you your got fucking paid job was. Like, you were supposed to do that. You right. were part of a podcast. Correct. You were supposed to go after who you could get. There's certain guys he could get. There's probably certain guys he could get, and there's definitely guys he could get. Right. So everybody puts their power together to make something great. And, and we the did problem that. Is I was a little, little bummed out. I was a little. You, do, yeah. you have to beat your chest and no, take credit for no, it. And I say, do that. I fucking. No. That's why I gave you fifty thousand dollars to shut the fuck up. Right. This this relationship was going to happen regardless whether you were in the middle of it or not. I love not. that. I love that. And I, and I still fucking paid you so you would shut the fuck up. You right. never stopped talking about right. what you contributed. When that's exactly what you were supposed the to do. The only reason for the I money commented, that you were the paid. only reason I commented on being because being contributed all that to what you were saying is because I mean you guys were hammering me a little bit, like making me seem like I didn't do shit. Like stop. You did a lot. Everybody we did a lot. That. That's your insecurities. And no, your fucking, no, and, and your, yeah. and no. Your it's fucking, just it was that's just in your own 100%. Head. Yeah, but you can't just let it's some, your insecurities. But where I'm from, you can't simply just run your name. What do you mean where you're from? That's just I don't know where I was born and raised. Between I, Steve, <laughs> me, mm-hmm. and Kyle. Do you know how much shit we've done for each other? I get that, but let me tell you this. Do you know how much we talk about it publicly? Yeah. We never, not only do we not talk about it publicly, mm-hmm. we never even think about it. Mm-hmm. I never go, you know what I did for those fucking guys? You know what they did? For- yeah, but it, you know. It never fucking happens. That's right. why we have a relationship. There was not like a doubt this. in my mind that and I shouldn't be. There is not a doubt. None of us are suing each other. None of us are fucking talking about right. it. And, and, and we don't ever fucking talk about money. And, and right. I don't know. I would literally have to sit down with these three and fuck it, and, and talk about it. Mm-hmm. Who knows how much money we've made off our relationship? Okay. I don't even know, and I don't even give a Who fuck. Who gives a fuck? I know that because it's not about that. It's about the fucking relationship. And, and I agree. And I think that I should. You been. don't agree. I think the no, one thing don't. was you the, don't agree, or you wouldn't be sitting here talking like you're talking. Bro, yeah. I'm well, here's my, my big thing was this: you just don't give me your word on being a piece of something. You Bob, can't tell, listen, I don't you think had so. an Wait, you had an offer it, from Happy Dad. I've seen me. it. I've seen your manager acknowledge it. Pull it you out. You got Where another offer from a seltzer. All right, pull it and out. You wanted, Where is the you offer? A Where is piece? the paperwork that says Bob, you own X percent of Happy Dad? Check your emails. I don't know any of this, but yeah. I know this is true without even fucking. Did you yes or no this get a, Did you, you yes or no get an I, offer I, from another seltzer? 
did we get an offer? We've got multiple offers from a bunch of and different And it was companies. way bigger, and you got cash up front. You took the cash. Correct. Of you course. could not return it because you probably already spent it. Right. And you told them that you were going to bring the seltzer on the podcast. I mean, so therefore, in no, your head, you no, said, I cannot that's, return that's, this $1 that's million. Like, I'm no, going guys, all in. I'm guys, bluffing. Way, we're, we're, this, and I'm this saying, Kyle, new deal in 24 hours. First of all, you've got to acknowledge why we're getting these offers. Because of this podcast, right? You guys are. But that is a hundred percent a fact. Well, wait, what, what would you, you, what would you, you not do, say that this podcast no. is the best thing to happen to him? What you do in this situation is, mm. so Bob is now part of a fucking team. You're part of this team. You're either in or you're out, mm. right? So you're getting offers from other seltzer companies. Yeah. So then you go to Kyle and you say, Kyle, these guys are offering me this much money to to bring this seltzer into the fucking podcast. Mm. And then let these guys go back and say, okay, well maybe we do this. Yeah, or that. yeah, Dana, we did that for eight months. I'm just saying, it's no big deal. We're good. But they were launching this fucking thing. No, it was during the time where we were. We were. No, I we're, know when it was. They were fucking launching. It was, yeah, this it shit wasn't even done. Because I was talking to them at the same time about doing something else. I didn't I, even I, have I, my deal signed. But I'm, exactly. I told them exactly. that too. But you, but he didn't is, believe me. This is that narrow-minded no. fucking thinking. I, and, and 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 what it means is all I you weren't was, in and you weren't part of the just, team. Once then, you decide just, I'm part of a no, fucking no, but team, just don't tell me. And I like over it. Just don't tell me I'm part of something I'm not. That's it. Just be straight up. But you had your you had you had your offer, but my deal wasn't even. Done they, too. they were just launching this fucking thing. Correct. That's pretty They're true. launching it. Ask Correct. Steve how long his deal how took much, to get how done much too. How front money do you think there is on a fucking launch? It's it's not even that. Just to have a, a, you know the conversation we had was just say hey you're a piece of this. You would have had you a piece of happy that dad. The That's first right. the first fucking seven years of the UFC. Right. The Fertitas never made a fucking profit. They didn't start to profit till seven. Imagine, but everything was. Uh, imagine if I'm right. going. Hey, I'm getting fucked. What are you doing? Yeah. If I, it's just you're <laughs> yeah. either fucking in. With a fucking group of people, bro, and you're part of the fucking team. Yeah, I mean, bro, you or you're not in. Bro, you talk about like I've, I, we're we're good. Like we we're we're all. Okay, but wait, Bob, why do you think you're entitled to so much? I don't think I'm entitled to so much. I just well, you might, clearly do. When our contract states, and I don't want to do this, but when our contract states thirty percent of ad revenue, right, which is an important category, when you're making thirty percent of the ad revenue, and you bring a bag and say, "Hey, I want to put a five million dollar bag on the show," but wait, you can't. You never did that. Yes, you did. never did that. Okay, no big deal. What ad said, did you hey, bring in? No, hey, what listen, ad did you ever bring in that, that we turned down? I think it was something from Hiller. I think Hiller said it right something now. In. You we never don't did know the that. exact deal, but we knew sh- quickly that we couldn't bring anything in because there was this guy and it was full sin supplements. Now listen, thirty percent of ad revenue. You in our never contract. brought an ad that we turned down ever. Don't say that you tried to bring ads on that we turned down. That Whatever. never happened. Agree to disagree, like, I guess. But no, it did never happen. We're not getting into this, Kyle. At the end of the day, is Why? This. Yes, it did not happen. Not I don't yet. know what to say. We're not getting into Let this. me ask you this then. Wait a second. Hold on. Fine. If I did say happy I didn't, which we did, if I had brought in a fucking deal at that time because 30% of ad revenue was important to me. That's a source of my income in the contract. Now, wait a State minute. State came in and sponsored the pod and you were getting 30% of those ads. Well, that's another problem. That was way higher this than This is another than problem is the other thing and I don't want to and talk about And he wanted a solo it. steak deal. He doesn't even have a Twitch account. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. You're, you're talking too much. Okay, but wait. You gotta understand this. Hold on, Sonny. Go ahead. When State came in, and I'm not gonna do this to you, but there were complications with certain well, is this part of an overall endorsement of our whole social media? And what is this part of the podcast, Bob? And it kind of was just like snaky. And I was like, No, you just wanted a solo steak deal. We got we got paid on. Th- no, we, we just wanted our ad revenue, which was good enough. We just didn't weren't aware of the deal. Which so you we got. So, so think about it. We own 30% of huge. the ad revenue in the podcast, right? But hold on. We're not aware what steak paid for the fucking podcast ad revenue. So we don't know. We, you knew, you knew what the they blind. paid. You were so getting steak 30% bought in. I'm, I'm entitled to in a contract, right? If I get 30% of the ad revenue, right? So let's. And let's steak this. sponsors this, right? So Am I not this. entitled to know how much fucking money steak put in the podcast? Without you saying a fucking word, <clears throat> how much did you make, physically make, put in your fucking bank during your time with the Nelk Boys on the podcast? We had, uh, I believe, the final numbers were around. 1.2 million. Don't quote me on this. No, no, don't, po- don't talk. Let was, him, let I him. believe it was around. 1.1 million, a portion of it came from the podcast, the whole not number, and another portion came from a different operation thing. That they How did. much money did you put in your bank with the Nelk Boy podcast? Over time, it was probably around a million dollars. Okay. So you made, you were part of a fucking team that was making a million dollars. Correct. So if you would have just focused on fucking grinding, helping these guys with fucking Happy Dad and mm-hmm. doing your thing, right? Mm-hmm. And, and I'm telling you, from personal experience, Ain't and I, I, I wouldn't normally do this to Kyle, but... You're wrong. Kyle, no, I'm not wrong. On this, you're wrong. No, I'm not fucking well, wrong. Well, let, let him go. I Kyle say. fucking really cared about you a lot mm-hmm. back then. If you would have been a fucking man and sat down with fucking Kyle and not, act, not acted like a fucking delusional lunatic mm-hmm. who overvalued himself... I'm not overvaluing myself. We just wanted our... our ad you could have worked anything out with him. The moral of the story is, people that are watching this, you either, you're either in or out. You pick your fucking team. I'm with you or I'm not with you. 
Mm -hmm. And when things like this happen, when egos start to get out of control, you have somebody who is, who is. Um, <laughs> He's not wrong. Though. He's dead you, wrong. You, you, but you're good. You, you absolutely implode and, and have to derail yourself for whatever the reasons are psychologically mm -hmm. with you that you do this to yourself. I am being you, very nice. You, you have to fucking decide whether you're with the team or you're not with the team. Yeah. And you guys all go in together and grind. And when you're making a million dollars to show up and fucking talk on a podcast. Yeah. And, and Kyle is giving what you do. Anything can be worked out. You mm -hmm. brought a fucking seltzer deal. They're building Happy Dad. No. You say, well, th 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 this, this is what I'm doing. Which I we, love we about them. They're very strict. They're very strict. They're by the books. And, like, and, they weren't and, allowing anything to come in here. And at the time. Which is fine. Wait, yeah. At the time, what I believed, I don't believe this anymore. I believe that people were getting in Bob's ear and telling him, oh, they're fucking you. 100%. You should do this. You should do that. All this other shit. I don't believe that anymore. I believe that Bob did this to himself. Oh, man. Because it's, it's just the way he's fucking wired. Mm -hmm. And it's something that you seriously need to talk to somebody about. And I don't believe <laughs> in Christ. Oh, wait, Bob. I'm fuck? telling you. You're, Bob, you're, 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 brother. I want to tell you one thing really quick. There's yeah. no one wanted you on this pod. Good. I'm telling you before it happened. That's great. He vouched for you really hard. I, I vouched I, for I, you. I hope Everybody so. we're else all, we're said all... no fucking way he's going to fuck this up. First of all, you vouching for me doesn't mean shit. <laughs> Okay. It means first, something, no? first and foremost, no, it Dude, doesn't. doesn't mean no, I anything. love you. I love you, Stani. You worked your ass off and fucking guess what? You're in that chair because of me. Back to that. Chair two. Right. Your chair three. Good. Chair two. Uh, yeah, I mean, dude, it's just, it's enough. But no one wanted you on. He vouched for Well, you. listen, I don't think, I, I, I don't think, I don't think we're ever going to. success because of him. He's doing it again. No, no, no. He, he's, he's doing it again, me. right? You had nothing to do with your success. It's yeah. all because of Bob. Of course. This is what oh, Bob I mean, I'll be, I does. I found him on the side is, street sweeping like Mary Poppins this, this, fucking this is, on the side of the this road. This is what you do. Yeah. Again, this is your delusion believing that Yes, you gave Steiny an opportunity, but Steiny's in this chair right now you know, because Steiny has showed up for every fucking thing that Kyle has asked Steiny him to do. Steiny is in this chair right now because he is the rat. That is <laughs> no, why. he's actually right, kidding. though. No, you've done a great job. Steiny worked for me for a year, crushed it. I'm so happy for fucking Steiny in this shit. I love that it happened. It worked out. Well, I don't it think is pretty funny that every guy I fucking bring on, though, these guys bring him in, huh? Isn't it funny? Huh? Yeah. They, they stick like around the minor leagues, hard, and then yeah. they graduate to the big leagues, There we leagues, go. Right? This is the theme of this podcast what? right here. It's, what? It's, this is the theme. No, I'm a lot so of imagine what you could do. What? If oh, you man. would actually fucking do something. Yeah, but I just kind of want... Imagine what you could do. I just want a normal life and, like, you know, with a nice, like, you know, yeah. wife and kids and a picket fence. Yeah, what? That, so yeah, that's... This is you changing the subject. I don't think we're ever going to... I don't think we're ever going to agree on who is right or wrong. No, we're not. It's all good. It's all... The other day, bro, I'll bust your ball. Well, here's another question is... I don't know. I wanted to ask him, like, so... Did why did why did you want to come why do you want to come back and like do some episodes? Because I missed I just missed doing good work. I missed like being with like the, the camaraderie. That's it, or whatever it is called. Is that why or you have nothing else going on right now? I mean I, we just do we do a lot of good shit going on. We're launching a fucking we're launching a monkey tilt, which is gonna be massive March first, which is gonna be fucking huge by the way, which is keep your eye on it. March first launches. Just, you know, we're, we're, I, got, I got some shit going, bro. Don't worry about me. We're good over there. Fuck but it. you missed being with a good squad and, and working I, 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 dude, I never and wanted, making noise and I shit. I never want. I loved you like a brother. I love you like a brother. I love you like well, I will brother. say that was, was the best time of my life when it was us three. Yeah, that's fine. Sure. Good. Trust me. I'll sneak that. my way back on the show so fast. You have no idea. Wait, we'll Dana, back. do you think the show's better with Bob? Oh, my God. Are you out of your fucking mind? Obviously, obviously. Business aside. A million other people have cut Bob off. That he used to fucking talk to. That is true. I still fucking talk to Bob. I think he's fucking funny. I think he's whatever. But I'm telling anybody Here, give me a kiss. that that yeah. that does business with him until he figures this whole fucking self sabotaging thing out. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know how it works, man. You, you you have to figure this out, and you have to stop fucking being so delusional. No one person does fucking anything. And, yeah. And and you know the success of other people aren't because of one fucking person. Ring ring. Hello, Dana. I need a favor. It's 3 in the morning. Steve, can you get these five girls out of the apartment, please? I need to get something done. Hey, Kyle, listen. I know you want these little influencers and all these guys. Like, fuck that. Like, we have the biggest show in the world, bro. Let's get the president now. So Kyle's, like, waking up. Why? How do you feel about him? He's like this. He's like, hello. Taking credit for Kyle's Trump. like this. Kyle's like this. Dana, Kyle's like this. Dana, he's like this. Kyle, he's like this. Hello. Hello. He's sleeping while I'm working. How do hey, you uh, that? No, it's awesome. We are going to execute a mission awesome to get the president is because States. when I talk about the level of delusion that this dude has, that fucking nails it right Wait, there. Wait, but did you remember that night, though? Time out. You have to remember that night. Steve You're taking I, credit for Trump, though. No, I, oh, Dana got it done, but I'll tell you what. I think that what happened was... You were, you were saying it was the right time to do him. Oh, right. bro, saying it's the right time. We kicked those five girls out of the apartment. It was me what, and Steve what do the five up. girls have to do with getting Trump? Because it's my routine. So I cleared the room, and I turned on the rap music, 
and I paced. And I called Dana White 47 times on FaceTime <laughs> in a row until he answered I don't think that's what made Dana do it. No, no, no. But no, it did, though, if you think about it, because why else did we say It the absolutely president? fucking didn't. Oh, wait, oh, well, the president was just going to peer out of nowhere if I hadn't done that? He's going to plop on a platter the next week and fucking sit down? That's crazy, bro. If you think that I... I pushed you to fucking got, get it done for us during If you think time, that I got it? Trump yeah. to go sit down with you... And not him. No, it was him, of course. You're out of your fucking mind. I know, mind. but that's why I was the two. I was the two man in the operation, and I knew that I would push that at the right moment, get you going, be zapped. I had this all fucking figured out. So guess what? You called me at 8 in the morning. He said, are you in jail? This and I was is, like, this that's is, crazy. That, that's the cherry is, on top this, right this there. This is the fucking just trophy of delusion. Right? This right here just sums yeah. up the entire podcast, the entire theme and Bob Menner in a Well, we can always go to UFC 300, which Mr. White has a very <laughs> special announcement here exclusively on the Full Set Podcast. Welcome in. Bob Menner and Peter here tonight. And we'll pass it over to Dana. Dana, drum roll, please. Who is the main event in the UFC 300? If he doesn't give it to you, he's such a loyal guy to the Full Set fans. Huh? Ooh, what are you going to do now, Zappy? What are you going to do now? No edits. And oh this my is God. how he reels it all back and makes people laugh. Oh, uh, yeah, you know yeah. Yeah. Uh, So why is What's there... What's next? Where, where do you see this going? I see myself you, front row at UFC 300, obviously, now that I'm back in the game. <laughs> so, so here's I'll the thing. I'll be sitting next if to President can, Trump, so Dana will be my left, and that's Have it. papers been signed? Is this deal done? Is this a deal? We're it's good. Done. So, uh, it's done. We're good? Has it been signed? No, but it's done. <laughs> you have my word. I it's can't fucking... Done. It's in your email, bro. It's not done. I will sign it. Dana, Dana, you know why it's, not, why it's done? Listen. Because of you. Uh, yeah. Listen, I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell all the you The deal this. is done. The deal Open is it not up done. And, Sign open the it up fucking and do deal. It. Give, me the, give me the contract. The deal is not done. Kyle, print and it And the right deal now. will not be done. Right okay? now, print it. Remember I said it here. It's Kyle, in your email. Give me a dog. It's in your email. Let me you have the dog. Remember I said it here today. My, my phone The deal died. is not done and it will not be done. Kyle, open your dog you sign. And I, you can't sign on it on mine. deal, supposedly there's supposed to be, he's supposed to appear on six podcasts. That will not fucking happen. Okay? He will not appear on six fucking podcasts. I agree. I promise you. If he does another one after this. Mm. There will be some reason that this blows up mm. and uh, some delusional. Oh, this podcast does well. It did 50 million views because I came on yeah. and I want yeah. 99% of Happy Dad. And boom. Mm. But it just. I think that I think that we were. This was a complete waste of here. my time. No, and, no, no, no. Uh, I think this is yeah. great. Hey, I think it was, was good that we question? all vented together as one. All good friends. We're wrapping it up? No, we're not wrapping shit up you yet. You should do it on here because I just did it. I, I, listen, I just gave my word. You want to sign something? Just give me a document. I'll sign it right now. That's it. You gotta do it. You gotta do it on here. I don't know how. My phone's dead. So you gotta oh, just give it to me. Plug it, it in. Give me a finger. I'll do it. Done. <laughs> That's it. Time for the skull way. Wait, yeah. you're saying yeah. he'll never do six episodes? This so, deal will wait, not wait, be wait, done. Wait, wait. This Dana, deal you, will not be done. He's do been six. talking. To, he's phone. been promoting this for two f-ing days. Mm-hmm. The deal's not done. Right Take that. Um, do you think it won't a, be done? Do you think it's a mistake and, and, for Kyle bringing him back? In the deal, it says that he does six podcasts. Yeah. He ain't doing six podcasts. How many does he do? I'll be surprised if there's one more. If there's one more, I'll be surprised. Before what, What's yeah. going to happen is this is going to come out. You know and it does one is? numbers. Ooh, it did eight million because I was on there. And I, and he'll be doing whatever the f- he does and he'll f- blow this whole f- thing yeah. up again. Do you think it'll do numbers because of you or because of him? I, it, oh, it's definitely. It, it's definitely. Well, listen, it, it has nothing to do with me. No, it's you guys. Well, you guys I, are I, the I, reason I this will. Uh, I do it. I'll, I'll say our, our numbers are not like you guys. That's it, whatever. But at the end of the day, we back to UFC 300. Obviously, uh, we've been trying to get to this for a long time. Well, that. that's the new thing. That's the he'll be hitting me up one of these forever. nights at 4:45 in the morning. He'll be hitting me up, going, "How oh, you get a 10 percent of UFC 300?" It's all I talked about on the podcast. Wait, but honestly though, this I want, is I want, how big is how big is UFC 300 going to be? Truthfully, it's going to be it's going to be like a lot of celebrities in the little section. He wants you to announce <laughs> this so bad. I mean, why the. F- wouldn't you there think are about so this? many because no, this you're using I'll, I'll this talk now. to you seriously about this right now. There are so many twists and turns yeah. and crazy f- shit going on behind the scenes of UFC 300. It's f- unbelievable. I bet. So where will you it's announce literally, it? Literally. When, when we'll announce it on f- UFC's Instagram and his. I'm, I'm working on it. And uh, every, everything that everybody thinks about UFC 300 right now literally could all change f- tomorrow. Why is that? Because it's f- Crazy, the shit that's going on right now. Is John Jones involved at all? No, no, can't be. Well, bro, no. trying to get deals done like that. It's I mean, crazy. I literally, while you guys were in here setting up for this podcast, I was literally right here in my office, saying, I, I didn't know if you guys could hear me in there. It was crazy, but everything about UFC 300 could completely change 
tomorrow. So what's the, why, the reasoning is obviously making a big event because it's 300, right? Yeah. Okay. And it's just, uh, well, who's already committed? Well, we have literally, so every f fight that's on the card already could be a main event on either a fight night or a pay-per-view. Right. So we have one more slot to fill mid-level, and then we have the main event. And the main event has not been announced yet? No. Be honest. And the other fight. We be have honest. two other fights. Do you fights know right are... now what the main event's going to be? Be honest. No. Do you, all right. I know what I'm, what I'm what, trying. What weight division? I know what I'm trying to do. What, what, but what, what I'm trying to do and what are going to happen there could end up being two completely different things unless mm. I completely fucking change everything. What would it's make you, fascinating. What, what would make you there, there could actually be a documentary right now being shot of course. Of behind the scenes to build UFC 300. It's fucking crazy. And that's why all the fans, that's why you're talking to me about this right now. What are the variables in it, though? That that's why you're talking to me about this What are the variables? That's all I'm going to say. You got it, thank God. Can you believe he just went on a fucking 20-minute rant about <laughs> loving you guys and fucking he won't even say this in the fucking shit? Don't Just worry. Play. He's going to fuck you guys again before we leave the room. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Is there anything? You guys are getting fucked before we even walk out the door. I actually have been fucking a lot of... Never mind, go ahead. Is there any scenario, <laughs> is there any scenario where you, you would ever work with I've been Bob on or hire Bob I've been Bob on a fucking now. tear lately. You know? <laughs> yeah. Listen, I learned the Bob Menery fucking... I, I learned the Bob Menery situation... The first fucking time I met him and, and started to talk to him, which yeah. was however many years ago, fucking. I learned all about Bob Murray. Then he re-educated me on his deal with you guys. Mm. And get ready. You're in for an education Leave my, too, my sugar friend. daddy's out of this. Your, your, your day's coming. We'll be doing this podcast with you next year. I got a, uh, I got a movie coming out, too, by the way. You going to go see it? Roadhouse? Movie yeah. Star. Yeah. Yep, I'm actually star. excited to see you in this oh, How much? Bro. How much are you actually in it? Five scenes. Five seconds. Five scenes. Uh. <laughs> five how five many, wait, scenes, wait, wait, wait. five uh, seconds total. <laughs> okay, but wait, wait, how many, wait, Bob, how many? <laughs> see my fucking cutout over there? Bro, you'll see him, like gonna, bro, you you'll want, see him like that. You'll see him like that in the back of the fucking. You'll see fucking Doug Lyman. <laughs> Doug Lyman, the director, big director, Hollywood, big director. Pick the phone, he goes, during our test screening, we pulled the fucking, whatever they do, the audience and shit, your favorite scene? It was me, Mano, and Mano, and Jill and Hall. You how who? Many, how many lines do you me have? Me and Jill Hall. I got a bunch, Steiny. Why are you asking so many questions? Oh, that's amazing. Good for you. Yeah. It's a podcast. He's hosting it. Hey, he does a fucking wonderful <laughs> job at it. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> we're, we're off. I don't understand. <laughs> he does a fucking You're wonderful doing great. job. Todd's doing great, great, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, in all seriousness, yeah. I'm excited to see you in the movie. Yeah. And, I, and I, hope, I, hope, I hope that's the case. I hope you kill it in this movie. I'm, I'm happy for you. Yeah, Let's I mean, go. listen, if I win an Academy Award, it ain't going to be... You know, that'd be, uh, that'd be I, pretty sick. So what's, I don't have any of those what's your plan for this? For you you're gonna you're gonna plan to bring some big guests into this thing? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I think that we're. I'm, I'm kind of doing my own thing a little bit, you know. But when you need me to snipe, I'll snipe. I'll Who's on in. the radar for you? I mean, we're just going Taylor Swift. We're going Vladimir Putin, <laughs> Kim Jong Un, <laughs> Jesus Christ himself. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else you want? Because I can get him in five minutes. You said you could get Harry Potter. Can I get Harry Potter? <laughs> really? I don't think you could get Harry Potter. He doesn't do shit. And the only reason you like Harry Potter is because that's our go-to move with chicks. 100%. And when you're in that situation, Dana, I don't know if like, you're obviously <laughs> married. But Harry Potter's a really good thing to Do you like Harry Potter, Dana? When you're like, chilling with chicks. I've never seen Harry Potter. <laughs> oh, yeah, too, it's the greatest thing. If you're like, just like, if you don't, you just met this girl, and you're fucking trying to you know, get her back to the place and fuck her. <laughs> In a respectful way. Would you be surprised if Bob... Put on a little Lingotti Oliviosa and fucking watch that shit. I just watched it as a kid, bro. bro it's it's He'll be calling me. So, I had some girl so, like, wet <laughs> once watching that movie. I'm not just what, like, Harry Potter? Yeah, I swear to God, it's a real thing. I don't deny that, yeah. So, it's a strong move. I highly doubt Try you've it. ever had that experience. Actually, you know who I actually went out with uh, yesterday? was was really, really... He, he claims he's dating one of your employees. He's dating one of the employees. I went out with her last night. She's a great, beautiful girl. Is that Charlie girl? You no, know, Charlie. Uh, oh yeah, you went out with Charlie. Yeah, it was a great. Drink. It was great. Great little. You know, put in a good word for me, though, right? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm sure she's very interested. Yeah. Oh, she is very interested. As a yeah, matter of yeah. fact, round two is tonight, my friend. Oh, Harry yeah. Potter and the Goblet of the Fire. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what it's gonna yeah. be tonight, I tell you. Yeah, you know? I bet. I'll send you some live Facetime videos. You know. Yeah. Well, that's a, Charlie will know this brilliant, beautiful, successful. Yeah. Yeah, really great wingman. She, I have she probably on here, said by the way. hi to you. No, she. <laughs> hi. Saw you on the internet once. It was quick. It was quick, but actually, we, sp <laughs> we spent a lot of time together. She's a great girl. She, she, you have a great little te Laura, that Sanko girl too. Mm -hmm. You got you got a good little team. Thanks. What about Rogan? What's uh, Joe? Joe is. Uh, he does all right too. Does he? Yeah. <laughs> what right. do you think of his new deal? Is that legit? I don't know. I don't know either. Hmm. Whatever his deal is, he deserves. Yeah. He's the number one guy in the world, no doubt about it. Mm. One of the most powerful fucking voices on on uh, in the world right now. Period. 
So real quick again, uh, gambling. <laughs> I want to go to gambling because I want to talk to Dana about gambling because I've seen Dana gamble like wild. So your strategy is this because I try to explain it to people when they ask. You go in and you just try and exit quickly. If you make X amount of dollars, what's your point when you go in? So what are you buying for normally? It depends on the night. A very wild night. You're feeling like, fuck it, I'm going ape shit. Mm, that's not a good one. I, I, I don't like when I feel like that. That's, those are the bad ones. <clears throat> when you get greedy and it's the one more, one more, one more, that's when you get killed. You got to go in, you got to hit, and you got to fucking you have the willpower to fucking walk out and leave, no matter mm. how much it is. If I go in, like, like last night, I went in with Taylor Lewan and those guys. Yeah. I won Taylor. He's a man. 50 last night. I won Will 10,000. That was his number. And then I won 30 and left. Then I went to Caesars, I told you. And mm -hmm. I beat Caesars for 150 last night. So last <laughs> night was a 180 night for me. Are there a couple casinos you can't play at? No, not now. What, yeah. You, well, yeah. I mean, there's a couple, but they don't let you play. What it means is they won't play, is they won't give me my limits. What's, uh, what's right. your max bet on one hand of blackjack? 75,000, but uh, MGM just moved it to 100. MGM just moved my, my hand to 100,000 for one hand. And two hundred thousand on the table. Oh, you were, so I, I'm not, I don't, I don't discuss details, but you were like you were when you get the those numbers that we saw you playing the. You were with that, me the other night. Three hundred thousand a hand. Fucking bro, Dana's throwing what? three. Dana's three hundred on Baccarat. Wait, bro, oh, sitting there like so this. Your Baccarat limit's higher than your blackjack. Yeah, bro. We played, we, he was there the other night. Bro, three hundred. A fucking Look, Caesars and, and MGM. Why is it higher on Baccarat <laughs> than blackjack? I don't know. It's just you can play three hundred thousand a hand. What, what's play for like? He was. It's a million every fucking second. Wait, what's that sweat like? Do you sweat that with how it's much money you have? It's crazy. No, it gives you a crazy. And the thing is with Baccarat that fucks you up is it's you bet player or banker. Yeah. So it's like betting black or red with no green. So it's like betting roulette. Then you got to watch the fucking cards play out. And the way that Baccarat is the one that's closest to nine wins. And they let you play 300 a hand. He was there the other night. It's it was fucking insane. intense, man. It's it was intense. Like, it was like down quick and then. You ended up up 800 or something like that. No, I came back from it. I, I won 300. You won 300 total. Yeah. But it was, dude, it was, I mean, that's crazy. That's, that's too much. 300 fucking thousand. So what is the, so in a game where you buy a Red Rocks, you buy for $30,000, you go in and just win two hands and you're out? Yeah. And what do you do? What's the move? Yeah. yeah, I'll usually leave at 60 grand. Sometimes I fucking stick around too long and fuck around. That's how me and, me and my boy are there will fucking six in the morning. Right. And her too. She's she rides it out too. <laughs> what's your what's your long, ride or what, die. what's your longest session ever? Longest session sitting at one one room, down a fuck ton. Twenty seven, twenty eight hours. Holy no shit. way, straight. Yeah. But did straight. you did you Holy get even? Shit. I got out. Yeah. But there's nights that I've been there that long and and don't get out. You have to you have to get yourself out of there and walk. That's that's what we're. So what's the to advice? Steve to do. Yeah. What's the advice for guys like Steve who can't walk away? away. You got to go grab them. You got to get them out of there. You got to fucking get them to leave. I feel like you don't have people that have the confidence to get you out of there. <laughs> you no, know, you're right. No, nobody talks to you. No one's going to say, yo, Dana, we got to go. Yeah, that's why I have to be, I, I have to be the guy that says, that's it. We've got to pull the ripcord and get the fuck out of here. What point is that at, though? I don't know. I don't know. Some, sometimes it's too long. Like, when you sit there and you spend what Steve just did, like the, like the 48 hours that he just did, or more. <laughs> he might have done more than 48 hours. It's, it takes a, it, it's bad for you, physically, mentally, emotionally, in every way that it could possibly be negative. It's bad for you. The only That's positive that makes an amazing fucking stream. That's the do you, problem. Do you still gamble on sports games or no? Never. I'm not going to lie. Because you don't like the sweat. It's like too long? It. I don't like the fucking. Okay, well, I, who, I don't like the sports games. Who are you taking in the Super Bowl? I'm not. If you had to pick one. I don't give a shit who wins that game. I don't care. He does all bets and he gives them away. Don't you give them away to people? Or is it your party? Yeah. I, yeah, I do. So we, he, you, he wants a few slips if he could. So I'll, I'll go. Yeah. Nothing from could you, you give him a couple I'll parlays? Couple I don't want nothing from you right now. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want nothing from you right now, boy. I think this is a good pod. This, is a this great was pod. the best pod I Hold think on, I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. I'm not, done, not yet. done yet. I'm not done yet. <laughs> Listen, I, by the way, I signed up for six episodes. Dana's right. This is going to be one and done. <laughs> I, oh, I know that. I knew that going in. Listen, you guys can take this thing and fly fly away with it. What else do you have? I don't know. I'm just kind of in the mood to just chill. You know, I don't think Dana has anywhere to go. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna call Saudi Arabia or something. You, you, you got any other oh, I want to, uh, pow, uh, the power slap real quick. The, you really believe in the sport? Truthfully, you get bashed for it. I'm not gonna be a dick, but you get bashed for it on the internet. They mm -hmm. crush you. Got Every comment UFC fucking too. rips you on power slap. UFC too. Is it something that you just can't get let go of, or you really believe in the sport? Truthfully, yeah. Pe people uh, don't remember. It seems like impossible to even fathom that that not only was the UFC ripped in the beginning by the media, but we couldn't even, there were venues that wouldn't take us. That's how my relationship started with Trump. Mm -hmm. Venues didn't even want it. Now we're breaking every fucking venue record in the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, power slap's fucking huge. 
And yeah, it's just if you know, we just got a valuation on Power Slap. Did you? Yeah. It's fucking You know mess. more about than I do. I look at it as just like, all right, everybody line up. I mean, with the with the. Success. Have you been to it live? No, but I heard I, it's live would be sick. It's We've sick. Been, live how have you sick. not been? You Is there ever been. ways to expand the sport outside of just two guys slapping each other and falling over and over again? I don't know how the sport's going to evolve. You know, right now, when you look at season one, when we did the first season of the uh, reality show, guys came in. These guys were doing this for free. What? Now guys are fucking paying off their houses and fucking paying off their cars and throwing money in the bank and taking care of their families. Mm -hmm. So once once the money like that starts to come in, it starts to evolve real fucking fast. Meaning these guys that did it for free and uh, now, now we're making a bunch of money. They didn't used to train. Now they're training. They're taking it serious. And how do you once train? that starts how do you train? to train? You just move your arm? You just slap. Be See, you but just work on your, like this? This is what we do. We take these fucking sports that people don't realize. Um have a ton of potential globally. And this thing is big all over the fucking world. Big, big, big. The numbers that it pulls and uh, the social numbers that it pulls, we just got, we're, we're, we're getting sanctioned in another five or six states this year. And then we're, and I'm, I'm doing one out of the country this year too. So when we do this one out of the country, yeah. I'll be able to get all these guys in from Russia and these other countries that aren't allowed to come into the United States right now. Mm. And we'll put on a massive fucking event. But this is all shit that I haven't announced yet. And mm -hmm. that's is coming Bob soon. invited well, Friday? Th thanks for fucking uh, giving us Bob invited here. Friday? Is he going? To the Power Slap What do you mean? Friday? Friday's event. Bro, I don't even... Fucking, it's the first time we've ever fucking sold tickets. It's fucking sold out. And, you know, because it's Super Bowl weekend, all the people that are coming, yeah. it's going to be our biggest, best event ever. Power Slap Live is fucking... I, I love it. Fucking so awesome, dope. Right? fun as fuck. so dope. It's awesome. Yeah. That's the other thing that's great about it. Just like the UFC... Mm -hmm. When we would put on these UFC events back in the day, it was one of those events that you walked out of and said, nobody ever walked out and said, I'm never coming to one of these again. That's what Power Slap is. No, live's sick. But there's no, you're going to keep it is, it, is it ever just, my thing is just, I, I look at it, the sport in a whole, and I'll speak for all the people talking shit, I just don't see a lot of potential in it. You don't see a lot of potential. It's just the same motion over and over again, and people fall the same way, and it's like, there's got to be ways to deviate, you know, move the sport around a little bit, you know? Me and the Fertitas, when we bought the UFC for $2 million. Yeah, but they're kicking each other nunchucks and fucking throwing each other walls. It's a different whole thing. Uh, people didn't but I think see it's easy to look at it now. Why do you think yeah. we were the only bidder and we bought it for $2 million? Because nobody saw the potential in it. Vince McMahon, his son wanted to buy the UFC and his father wouldn't do it. He's like, fuck that. That's, you know. Mm -hmm. And if you were Vince and you saw any potential in it whatsoever, you buy it just to take it out. So it can't become fucking something bigger. Nobody saw the potential in the UFC. Nobody. Right. But we does did. that make you feel like since you saw that, no, you can't I, fail in anything else? Any no, other business I, I'm not saying that can't fail, but I, I just, when I saw Power Slap originally, it was fucking very intriguing to me. And I got it. Then I started to look at the numbers that it was pulling with the shitty production. and Those are the bots I sent over. I, I sent the numbers <laughs> I didn't want to tell you. Yeah, I felt bad well, for you. Whatever you think it is. I had yeah. to give you a little boost. Yeah. You know? Well, based on your record <laughs> in business, I probably should listen to you. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got, a, you've got a hell of a fucking track record in business. Wait, when's, is McGregor, McGregor's coming back to fight? Yeah, he'll uh, come back this year. You, who you got if you had to choose between the two, Chandler or him? Is he going to be like, who, Chandler's a tough dude, right? The, the guy, of course. Michael's the best dude. That's the fight, fight that should happen. Michael's him the best Chandler. fucking we'll see what happens ever. Depending Gaethje, on when he comes back. Gaethje-Chandler fight was the greatest fucking fight amazing. of all time. Yeah, amazing. That was the fucking was greatest fucking fight of all time. Yeah. That's why I think Chandler can fucking... It's because McGregor even at... You probably know better than anybody else. Is he even you know, close to what he was back in the day? I don't know. We're going to find out. No one he, really knows. There's only one way to answer those questions. Yeah. They got to fight. Or will I be sitting for that fight? <laughs> you still give him tickets like that? Yeah, if you fucking, I don't even ask. I just walk in, and they part the Red Sea for me when I walk in there. They go. You oh, got kicked out of some shit last time, no? Yeah, we've had our moments. <laughs> I think the last event you got kicked <laughs> out, no? He, he brought some fucking dude that was goofy yeah, as shit I, and listen, shooting his mouth off. There's always a little bit of you know, <laughs> rough on the feathers when, when I'm when I'm around. You know, we're, our security guys wanted to kill the guy he was with. <laughs> yeah, but I, I gave him. The, I looked in the eye and they made sure they stood down. You got to choose your career over females too. Huh? Career over females. Oh, yeah. No, I'm all uh, uh, business and now pussy. Okay. Good. So I'm going to do that now. Unlike you, who's doing like a fucking weird-ass show with all these fucking chicks now. It's doing well. Is it really? Yeah, better than yours, dude. He's getting more views on YouTube than... Way more. Than yeah. all yours combined, I don't I do YouTube. I stay low-key. That's it. Well, it's great to have you back. Yeah, we'll see what happens. You should sign the doc before the pod ends. Huh. Huh. I gave him my word. Give me the what? thing. It's in your fucking email, bro. Yeah. Hold on one second. I got you right now. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I can already fucking feel this guy fucking breathing down my neck. 
<laughs> he ain't signing that fucking thing. I always would. No, of course I would, Dana. Yeah. I wouldn't. No, that's you're wrong with that. I, it's done right now. Hold on. We will see. We'll, we will see how this plays out. And then you're all panicking. I haven't been wrong yet. Oh, yeah, I'm <laughs> fucking <laughs> real panicked. Might as well pull the fire alarm or yeah. something. Because they're fucking, oh, no, I just want to be right. <laughs> when, Dana, when have you? I just want to be right again about you. Yeah, 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 yeah. You will be. What do you, what do you think are times you have been wrong, like in your career? Oh, fuck. I, I, plenty, but. You know, that stick out? Every right decision and every wrong decision has led me here, so it's, it's all been good. <laughs> recording to the plot real quick. Sorry. Yeah. Did you sign it? I mean, brother, like, I'm a, I'm a stand-up dude. Can't find it. I mean, what does that mean, is, bro? Yeah. But just so, get, so pull it out on your phone. But dude, it's Kyle. in your email. It's not in mine. Bro, Kyle, I, people, he's not signing it. He didn't sign it. And even if he does sign it, he won't be on six he fucking podcasts. He told Steve he signed it a week ago, right? This fucking guy never, ever we go. does a fucking like, thing that, was that he says he's going to do. All right. Let me, call, let me call him right now. Why do you guys have a chit chat while Ever. we end this thing on the thing? So. You've never seen him one time follow through with anything? He doesn't follow oh through with God. anything he says. Fucking, I was mine. I've done so much for this fucking guy, he has no idea. Mobile game, power slap. Hey, we got to sign this. Dana's screaming at me. I'm, 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 I'm giving him <laughs> all the credit for that. <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't fucking get that <laughs> without <laughs> the guy with the t shirt over there. Yeah. Okay? When was the first time you met Bob? And he couldn't even come up Wait, Dana, with, when was the first time you met Bob? He couldn't even come up with the fucking, with the strategy yeah. to fucking make that happen. That's why when he, when he fucking starts sending me the shit that he's ranked number 13, I'm like, how the fuck is that even possible? That's not even possible. That, there's so many people playing this game that he's fucking actually number 13 now. Wait, when was the first time you guys met? Through, through, through Instagram. When Long he was putting ago. up his, hey, Peter. Dana was like, Dana was like hey, I'm down, bro. Oh to, oh, to sign the shit? Yeah, bro. I'm in. You gotta do it on the show. Hold on. Hey, can you just put that in the email thing real quick? I'm getting hammered here by a bunch of guys. That don't Dude, it's in your email. About. Nobody's hammering you. So I, I gotta do the uh, thing. Nobody's gonna, hammering you. I'm just saying it ain't gonna fucking in the happen. Mud. We're gonna give him a free pass, so just give me the thing. Delete the 170. Hopefully, Dana can come through. Show me who you're talking to. Let me, let me see this. My good friend, Zach. Zach. Zach's a great guy. That's your lawyer? No, no that's my uh, guy that helps me out. Okay. All right, we're in. Got it. What's your. Max the podcast. How much you paying that guy? Nope. <laughs> he gets two, he gets, he gets two Twitter guy. posts a day. You know? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm curious to know Hillary's involvement still. This, this, like, is, this is my guy. <laughs> you don't have a fucking job. How do you have a guy with no job? You don't even know what I'm doing right now. Yeah. Yeah. Hillary, What's that costing you, sugar daddy? This is important. This is very important. I need you to keep it down. Hey, listen. Why the 20 million to my account? Thanks. Appreciate you, bro. All bullshittery. This is what this <laughs> is. This is all. <laughs> Bullshittery. That was, that was actually good timing. This is what happened. It was good timing. Bob Mentory bullshittery. I love that. Uh, oh, all guy, right, let's sign this, Kyle. Let's have a guy's got the contract. I got da da da. Mentory Nelk said it all da, da, da. on their f- face. Here we'll you go. Sit here right? for another 45 yeah, minutes. Listen to straight bullshit. How are you not announcing UFC 300 on Nelk show? Like, there we go. Because you're on here. You he just said it's not done. Yeah, but when you announce that, what do you do? Like a press conference? Will you take another hit? Nah, yeah, actually, figure out I'm, what we're doing here. I'm pretty do. Hold on, go. I got you. <laughs> Get another zap in you here. Here we go. I'm out. All right, DocuSign's loading. It's loading. And I tell you what, you got horrible service in this place. You better start paying the bill. That is a fact. Guys. This thing that that is, that's the only honest <laughs> thing you said all day. <laughs> here like that's this. a fact. That I'm is true. Bunker right now. The, the first true thing he said on this entire podcast. I got a Mo Kyle's lawn three times a week here. <laughs> what the fuck else is in here? This is all true. This, this yeah, I can't yeah, deny. Yeah. Yeah, I stuck right. that in. There you go. This four yard. Yeah, we'll drop it. We'll be good friends here. We'll be good friends. Do you want to give Bob advice how to like manage business relationships and friendships? Bro, I'm the best in the world, that. Yeah, we, that's what this whole podcast was about. <laughs> yeah. It's never gonna <laughs> happen. It's just no. I think problem. he learned a lot. He just doesn't. But want there's to no, it. there's no way to. Unless he to goes into therapy on, on this shit. Done. No, we already did. Th- actually, when you guys, I, I did. I actually did like a. Re- I did rehab actually. Let's While see. I was gone, you were there for good. one day. Good. Not five you days. You don't need rehab. You need therapy on how to sell, how to not self sabotage. What do you mean? So what does self sabotage mean? It means you just crumble. You fuck it, yourself. No, when this you're is doing what it well. fuck yourself. When means you're doing every well. time that your life starts to go in the right direction and shit it's starts true. to happen for you, you have to blow it up and fucking derail it for whatever, whatever the fuck happened to you yeah. uh, somewhere along the line or however you were built sometimes, like this. Or sometimes wired. I don't like like all the attention. I just kind of like to stay, you know, under the radar. That's, that's what it is. Sometimes it gets too big. I like to step out of the game. Live a normal life, you know? Yeah, your life's normal, yeah. Family, well, you're kids. coming back here now. Push the kids for a little walk. Did it get dark for you? Dark? In the last two oh, years? Oh, my God, yeah. I had a very dark two years. Yeah, it was nuts. I'm not getting into it. It was crazy. I definitely went off the rails, though. Like, yeah. badly. Who'd I you reach I'd, out to for help? No shit. Um, I really didn't. Rogo helped me. John helped me. But I definitely did. I did five days in rehab because I was, like, 
crazy zapped out of my mind. I'm good like now. Like I definitely zapped. You're zapped right now. Yeah, but it's okay. It's not the point like where I was like crazy, crazy. But there was a point where it was like nuts. Cause I was what, did, like, what did I tell you when you were going through that? You were like, stay in there. Yeah. Like, I'm going to go for a guy. I said, no, don't, don't come out. Stay yeah. in. Yeah. I mean, you should have stayed. You know, I mean, it was just boring as shit. I had like grilled cheese sandwiches yeah. and like fucking. Well, nobody thinks rehab is fun. It's not a vacation. It's not, uh, yeah. you know. Yeah, but it was good. I mean, I learned a lot from it. And yeah. I think that I was just, I had my. What'd you very, learn? I mean, I was very distracted with some things that were like, because they, they did this whole like, whole thing. They did like mental therapy. They did fucking, they tried to wave wands in my eyes and fucking like hypnotize my brain and shit. It was crazy. None of it worked or? It all worked. Look where I am right now. Flip the script on you motherfuckers. How many days were you in? Five solid. Yeah. Yeah. Couldn't do more than that. There was no. You need five months. Can I tell you why? Because I got, like, I got really horny and like, they didn't allow any guests. I'm not being a dick. Like, being honest, I kept trying to sneak girls in and they, you know, a lot of them were biting on the whole, I'm at rehab. But at <laughs> yeah. the end of the day, you know, like, he was definitely like, that's like, like trying yeah, to like, come over, like, where you're at? Like, well, there's a guard. Fight. There's a no, guard no, 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 who's going to search you when you walk in. But uh, you can feel Did you good. come by for my conjugal visit? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, did you get visitation rights or no? Yeah, I banged. I banged somewhere up, uh, up against the counter in rehab. In rehab. <laughs> that's yeah. a lie. Hmm? Is that a lie or no? No, I, I, I definitely, like, yeah. I mean, I had special rules. <laughs> I had special rules because I, 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 at day one I was like I can't fucking no cell phone I'm like you guys are out of your fucking mind how do you do this in here without a cell phone so then they gave me my cell phone and I just paced around and then like did all that and, you know that's it I don't have any I don't have any issues anymore I'm dialed in we're ready to go if you guys want my help on this shit let me know it feels good to be back and that's all I'll say right well, I don't know if I'll we're back my people we'll give see what call. happens right? thanks yeah, don't worry we, we don't know if we're back we'll see what happens no. but I mean, we listen, have a deal now, I'll right? tell you what I'll do for you I'll do it. this will do I don't want to come back on the episodes I'm good did you call. sign did. Yeah, it's good. Hold on. He sent it to you? Yeah, I guess. Oh. Is it signed? Let me see. Let me yeah. Let's verify. Wait, you know how you really take these? Is this how brutal of a world you're in? My word's no fucking good. My word's good. No, no. it's never been good. Yeah. No? Right. Your word is a, the yeah. furthest fucking thing from good. That's fucking awful to say. But true. No, it's, it's one of the things that you not. need my to... My word is, my word is loyal. You, you need to take fucking... Sometimes I like slip up a little here and there, but at the end of the day, it will always revert to my... This is all constructive criticism that yeah, you need Yeah, oh, I bet yeah. it is. Oh, it is. This is like it's a true. fucking assassination. Listen, if, if, if we hated you that bad, nobody would fucking even talk to you. They'd fucking cut you off like everybody yeah, else I mean, we did. don't need to be like, we're good. We're power motherfuckers. Like, I know what I'm doing. We're good. You're powerful, dude. Did he sign it? I don't know. I asked. He uh, said he did. I mean, on. you guys. I saw the he docu- said he did. I saw the docu sign. But that doesn't mean shit. Start saw, sending sign. Wait, okay, hold on. Accept all. Yeah, I mean, look at. I think I did. I think I did. I, well, I'll tell you what. I signed some document. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck it was, but from definitely. him, because there is a lot of deals coming in right now. A lot. So <laughs> I there's bet. a lot of documents. I mean, we gotta all agree. To John, you gotta really, you gotta know the. <laughs> to John, uh, yeah. Uh, direct to Bob. Sure, Memory. deals are flying by John. Uh, yeah, we're we're good. You? To, we're we're good to sign. We gotta we gotta all agree that Bob's probably one of the funniest people. Oh, 100. Like, you, you funny still guy, stay tuned yeah, in. Fact, that, that's the reason I haven't fucking just completely cut him off is because he's got that ability to reel you back in Yeah. because he's fucking funny. But yeah. on the serious side, he needs to get this fucking shit fixed and, and, we, and he can actually live the life he says he wants to live with a fucking wife yeah. and kids. You're so fucking far from a wife and kids, it's not even funny. I was close. I was what, close. what is your no, goal, No, you were Bob? never close. I was close. What's your goal, Bob? You were never fucking close. I had a fucking kid. Yeah, well, you were you're close not fit to, to getting be. divorced if you got married, but uh, you're definitely not close to any of that shit. And we yeah, don't even no, want to. You know what it is too? I don't we want don't it. even want to go. I don't even like to say her name. We don't even want to go into that. You yeah. know where I'm at on that and how nah. I feel about that. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, exactly. I agree. I, I think would. you're fit to be a father. I'd be the greatest father. Take a picture me out with the carriage. Take a nice little walk. I can totally kid. see it. Can I read the kid? Yeah, I can totally see it. Yeah. Night, huh? yeah. You know? You and Junior. Yeah, that'll be fucking great. Would you come to my was Bobby you, Junior. Would you come to my wedding or if I had, got married? Oh yeah. Would you Would give you the, object? Would you give the best would band you object speech? To his wedding? Would you give the Yes, be- I would be the guy that stands <laughs> up and Does anybody object to these two being married? Bob's yes. Wedding. Lady, yeah. are you nuts? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> And your father, you're her father? What are you doing? <laughs> All right, so hold on. What, what can we do then? If Dana's always going to bash you, what can we do to turn your uh, very aggressive opinion on us <laughs> around here? What can we do? There, there, fucking there, pump power slap. Prove fucking, him wrong one time. Yeah, prove him oh, wrong. There's a lot of things you need to do. Fucking, when, 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 you, when you make a commitment, mm-hmm. fucking stick to it. Okay, when was the last one I Well, now you're with John. Yeah. John is your guy. Yeah. Are you all in with That's John? Tuesdays and Thursdays only. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I believe that. It's Tuesdays and Thursdays See, only. See, that, that is the yeah, that is exact. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you're trying to make it a joke, but that's dead on. That, that's that is exactly not pro. who you are. No, I'm, I'm saying, these guys are like fucking, they back the shit I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I know, like, they, they, I'm connected. You know that, so I make shit happen. 
I got to talk to John, hmm. like the father of the fucking girl that will marry you, okay? That's, so hmm. it's like, John, what the fuck? Are you nuts? Hmm. I'm trying. You're seeing this podcast. You see how this story ends, right? You see how, you know, this kid oh boy. loved this guy. Still does. We love each other. We're good. We're going to play golf tomorrow. We're going to go hit on some chicks. Yeah. Fucking me and Kyle, one-two punch again, back in the rotation. <laughs> done. Harry Potter's <laughs> flying in here with a fucking wand tomorrow. He's fucking sitting in his chair. If you want if to you get, get Harry Potter, that'd be fucking done, big. brother. Brother, you can't, like stop. Like, I think you know, that's like, that's like that's, that's, that's like a money. pretty big redemption, though. I think you, you got to put money. And in Harry's for that. not even that big. It's just that our, our but no one gets him. He has no chance. I feel like who's actually somebody that you could bring to the podcast <laughs> that actually I could take credit for, <laughs> and that's like whatever. <coughs> who, who's somebody you could bring in that they have? I don't think yet? he would give you that though. He'd give it to probably Kyle, right? That's fine. That we'll see. I'm working for the show. I don't care about myself. Like I'm trying to make shit work. So I do well, Stunny. Just pay attention, kid. Take your notepad out. Who could you bring in the show that, that you have that, that you could think would be a good guest for them that's like huge, that you could make it happen and fucking like that? Could you get Brady on here? There's a lot of things I could do. Ky- Kyle, Kyle doesn't ask me for that stuff. Kyle Because he's a is fucking pussy. Ky- Kyle. <laughs> I will fucking call you 90 times till we get done. Kyle, Kyle fucking works. These kids fucking work hard. Yeah. They've built a great business. All right. They're consistent. They do everything that they say they're going to do. Mm-hmm. They deliver. Mm-hmm. It's never about fucking money or fucking, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. It's about relationships. Everything's nice. about timing, too. Like, I'm I sure that. That's awesome. we could get Brady one day. Yeah, like, I, mean, I think it'd be maybe like, we how, how, sick would be of like how sick would it be of like, like I would like to test Dana because I want to see like Dana. These, I, these guys are at a level now that they can get anybody they want to get. They don't fucking need me. I've seen their last Bro, Dana's, they don't need me. Dana's already proven himself. Uh, they don't need me. Listen, I know you were getting ready to get out of here, but I'm saying this. Like, who next? Because I, it's, it's on me. Now that I came, the sheriff came into town, I got to make sure this shit. You're not even going to fucking show up. Even if I don't, the guests will be there. All right. Did he sign the deal? Yes. Did you? It is, it is. How do we not know this? How do we not know no, I'm, this? I'm sorry. We don't have, hold on. Who, who would completed. know if the deal? There we go. Let's Nelk see, Saddleman see. completed. Let me there you go. This fucking, see. there's a couple little, uh, don't go through the camera roll. We had a couple, no, wild, we had a couple wild nights past. Like, <laughs> yeah. No one wants to see that. There's oh, a no, big crack like, in the middle of it. I know. I Daddy, can't even zoom in. Would you buy him a new phone, please? Hey, hey, hey. We haven't gone there yet, all right? He was zapped out and dropped it somewhere. All parties have completed. There it is. Let's go. Holy fucking shit. Wow. Let's go. But now here's the deal. I can't this fucking what, believe it. This is what I like to do. I can't fucking. By the way, I'm not, I, listen, I've never sued somewhere in my life. I've never been sued. I, I'm one for one. I just had to flex, I had to press him a little bit. I will admit I was wrong. Mm-hmm. I fucking, there's no way in hell I thought this dude was going to sign this today. And I thought that this was going to spin off into another whole fucking goofy fucking. I thought so too. But back to the point of this, truthfully. Like Tom Brady, could you get Tom Brady here in three days? If you really want to challenge your mind, right? You'd be like, hey, you know what? You got to get Tom Brady with the Nelk boys. Could you? That's the that thing. Out? You scare off a lot of guests too. That's fine. I'll like OJ Simpson didn't want to come on when you were on. Oh, so what a loss, OJ <laughs> Simpson. <laughs> oh fuck, my bad. I'm sorry, guys. Well, that's pretty scary. <laughs> that's like, pretty yeah, crazy Jeffrey to scare Donald him off. Probably a bad example. <laughs> yeah, I know. Exactly. Yeah, Jeffrey Dahmer and fucking. Oh, actually, yeah. I'm with Bob on this yeah. one. <laughs> I tell you what, Bob. I hate to say it. Ted Bundy passed. I'm like. Gotcha. No big deal. I'll, I'll recover from this one. I can't believe you know? I'm actually signing with Bob uh, against Kyle for once. Hey. This is crazy. Hey, Dana, I'll oh, tell you uh, what. Jerry Sandusky's a no-go. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want to fucking do it, bro. He's out. Bob, you oh should feel horrible about yourself. Before the podcast ended, I can't believe yeah. this fucking happened. Yeah. That so, is so, so give us one. Give us one. Give us somebody. Like, cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck with them one more time this week. Give you one. Like, give me somebody good. Like, bring you Super Bowl week, bro. Get somebody in here. Look, I'll tell you this. Like, get somebody nasty. <laughs> if in Kyle here. calls me and asks me for fucking something, I, I will give it to him. Like, I'm not giving you shit. Okay. <laughs> well, you got nothing. We're gonna talk later then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one click away from giving you a phone number away on Instagram, <laughs> and then you shut down completely. I'm due to change that anyway. Yeah. I'm fucking tired of getting 4:30 fucking FaceTimes from you. Well, okay? those will never stop. I'll tell you that much. 430 at 430. Yeah, I think actually the most I've ever called you in one time was <laughs> 31 times in a row. I swear to God, that was the night of the uh, Oh, anyways. I think this was good. Yeah, it was good. This was amazing. Was good we got to tell the audience, comment, is Bob going to stay on? Is What's he going to do? Don't their opinion. I don't care Let us know what opinion. you think of this episode. Yeah, and I didn't think he'd fucking sign. How, all right, what's the over-under out there, everybody? Six podcasts, all right? Over under on Bob Minnery six podcast. I'm going with the next fucking. Next episode, we're gonna read all the comments. Way yeah. under. So he comment he didn't, right he didn't now. Give us we're gonna UFC be reading all of them. He didn't give us UFC three hundred. <laughs> we asked him for a guest. He's not helping us there. <laughs> I mean, 
And you're in the Howlerhead fucking I mean, onesie, bro. What bro. the fuck is this shit I'm wearing right now? <laughs> yeah, what the I fuck mean, is this drink? Where did you even come up with that? You made well, that? I just thought, it, I thought it would lessen your the blow. Your sugar daddy, your sugar daddy must have spent a lot of money making That's that fucking sweatsuit. Yeah, it's like, honestly, it's really really That's hard. I need one of those. Yeah. But, John, I want to thank you for the sweatsuit. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Anything for you. Again, yeah. he's here trying to take credit for the fucking sweatsuit too. Yeah. Okay. No, but uh, definitely. Did you take him the school funny... shopping? Did you take him out school shopping? No, I <laughs> are are Yo, these his school that... clothes? He has to take them off when he gets home from school. The funniest part, the funniest part of the negotiation is when the... uh, Bob says, yeah, by the way, Hunter's going to send you the deal, the, the settlement or some shit. And I'm yeah. like, what the fuck? This is what he does. Oh, he Hunter made... fucking told me he was going to help me out. He left me dead. He, he makes shit up. Yeah, yeah by the way, yeah, you've done I a good job. Hunter, this, is, this is good. I'm sure Hunter was going to represent you. Yeah, This is really good. Wait, do a quick ad read. I mean, uh... It's just that this is really good stuff. I'm impressed. It's good. You've done a good job with this. That's and it. I, and I do feel you're a little bit late on payment. I hate to say it, my friend. <laughs> All right, full set oh. podcast. We'll see you next week. I love it. Imagine yeah. what this is going to cost you. me. Mm. This was a lot of money. Remember that time I drank Howlerhead on camera? A yeah. lot of fucking money. You owe me 50000 I just love the energy that PowerSide brings. Everything about it is so fun and intriguing and new. Coming to my first main event, I'm excited about the opportunity that it presents. You know, it brings more eyes to me brings more opportunities for me in the future and allows me to continue to grow. When I'm on the stage, you know, I'm all business. I'm up there to do my job in the most entertaining, fashionable way. And I think I do that every single time. Never been knocked out, never been hurt. And that's not gonna change this time. You know, anyone who knows me personally knows how hard I work. I know I'm completely confident in myself, my power, my chin. Chris just rubs me the wrong way, but it doesn't really matter to me. I'm the only one who dictates this match. I know I'm here to perform. I know what I'm gonna do. It's not enough just to go up there and win. I want to prove I'm the best. I want to show I'm the best, and I want to show him that he's not what he's made himself out to be. He does have decent power, but my chin is light years ahead. My power is great, and my technique is flawless. So tonight, we get to find out who he really is. To be able to be the first at a lot of things, like the first knockout, the first championship match, being a part of that has been a blessing. Everything I've said, I've done. You know, you got a lot of the other power slap guys, they said, oh, I'm gonna knock this guy out or I'm gonna do this. Everything I've said and how I'm gonna do it, I've done. I'm so ready to get back to feeling that feeling of competing and being around that stage. The sport is mine, this division's mine. I earned this, so I'm not gonna have somebody come in and take it away from me. Manny thinks that he's ready for me. He's not. I'm just gonna go show him that he's not ready and I'm hoping after this slap is done that we can shake hands and be done with it. I'm gonna put him in his place and we'll put this behind us. I'm gonna knock Manny out. Chris, you know, definitely has a lot of anger built up. It'd be nice to shut him up. I'm tired of hearing him, but at the end of the day, this opportunity is about me. I could care less about him. You know, I've been waiting for this moment. It's been a long time coming, and to finally feel the fruits of my labor will be real nice. I just can't wait to continue and show my worth in this sport. I don't have to go round after round with this guy. I don't have to lose my breath to knock him out. One slap is all it takes. Tonight, I'm gonna show you that I will be 6-0 by KO.